Chapter 26, You Must Be a Woman. 6 That mysterious guy is someone who makes him feel difficult. Calm down, I will kill Gray's apprentice myself. Leon waved to his feet. Salud I was speechless, but still obeyed and left. He decided to observe the situation secretly, and it would be better if he really couldn't make a move. Lord Leon. Ow, Jerry and Toby also fight. However, Leon waved his hand vigorously, come on. I have no problem dealing with a Grey's apprentice. Seeing this, the three of them left here. Leon was the only one left in the entire hall, and he was still standing quietly. Susutilda, wind blows. Leon also frowned at the man who was snoring with his eyes closed in midair. The kid has signed up, and as Grey's apprentice, you should also call me uncle. Is this your attitude towards elders? Leon said. This also made Dino, who was snoring in the air, bewildered. Slowly descending from the air, he looked at the boy Leon strangely. Sure enough, he has never experienced social beatings, yet he speaks so aggressively. And, what the hell Gray's apprentice? That boy Gray didn't deserve to be his apprentice. Humphrey, you are acquainted with each other. Leon thought that Dino came down because he knew he didn't understand the rules, and he snorted coldly. Stop talking nonsense, Leon, right, let's do it directly. Dino was lazy to talk to him so much nonsense. Humphrey, arrogant brat. Leon is still so underpumped. Dino waved his hand silently. The gust of wind swept towards Gray. The wind was very strong and Leon couldn't help but narrowed his eyes and looked at Dino, his eyes were more or less serious. A little level, Leon spoke, raising his palm to Dino. The magic circle appeared. Let's make middle dot eagle. The extremely fast eagles rushed out of the magic circle and attacked Dino, and Dino's eyelids lifted slightly. Simply raising his arm shattered the giant eagles. These little attacks are not worth the Dino bright magic circle at all. After easily defuse Leon's attack, a new magic circle appeared outside his palm. Like Leon. It is a form of ice magic. Let's make middle dot meteor. One by one, sparkling little dots appeared directly from around the magic circle, like stars in the sky. He hit Leon faster. The starlight streaks through, and it is quite dense all around. Rao is that Leon can't help frowning, it's too dense and he can't be sure to avoid it. Simply stand still and let the starlight pass through the body. Next second, the penetrated body turned into an ice sculpture. It is a stand-in for Leon and Leon also appears behind Dino at this time. Let's make middle dot sharp sword. An ordinary sharp blade appeared in the palm of his hand, swiped from the bottom up, and was about to land on Dino's body. HMPH, I admit that you are excellent. But now the outcome is divided, you are defeated, Leon said. The sharp blade in his hand was about to rip through Dino's clothes. At this time, a magic circle suddenly bloomed in front of the sharp blade. That moment, Leon's sharp blade slashed on the magic circle and was isolated from the outside. What is this? Leon was shocked. How could this magic circle suddenly appear behind him? There was no magic fluctuation at all. How the hell did this guy do it? He shouldn't have reacted yet. Why was he able to react in time to his attack behind him? At this time, Leon suddenly felt that the sharp blade in his hand was being disintegrated. How is this possible? What is the move? Leon exclaimed. The sharp blade is a melee weapon made by him using magic. How could it be disintegrated by a small magic circle? How could he not know that the ice modeling magic has such an effect? I can't kill you. It will only make you lose your combat effectiveness. Dino's voice sounded. The figure disappeared and when it reappeared, it was already behind Leon, suspended at a height of half a meter from the ground. Hands present the word eight above Leon's head, the huge magic power fluctuations appearing on the body. Wind magic airspace extermination. In an instant, the rays of light that bloomed directly on Leon's body. Ugh, Leon screamed and rolled his eyes, fainting. At this moment, the magic power in his body has been destroyed in an instant. The whole person is in danger of life. Swoosh tilde. Dean yawned and stretched out his hand to take Leon but he still needed to take the hostage back anyway. Just as he was about to start, a magic ball suddenly attacked, hit Dino. And Dino looked at the magic ball and stretched out his hand, and the strong wind blew it aside. At this time, the little Saludai also appeared directly with a mask, and he was holding a magic ball in his hand. Yo there are enemies, Dino laughed jokingly. He took a deep breath and narrowed his eyes, you have a strong scent of perfume on your body. I said you shouldn't be a girl right? Wearing white clothes, long black hair, a woman with a very sexy body, isn't it? Of course Dino knew the true identity of this Sarudi, but he said it on purpose. Saludai was silent. He was a little confused. Why was this guy able to say that he was a woman when he saw him? Okay, he can understand that it is a woman. After all, there is indeed perfume on her body. But who can tell me that I can still tell by the smell of perfume, the clothes I wear, the hair, and the sexy body. What this guy said was too accurate. Looks like I guess right. Dino smiled. His eyes stayed on him now and he said, while thinking about his cheeks, actually, I don't think it is necessary to fight anymore, you should know that since Eza and Natsu are here, they will definitely not give you or you any chance. Of, chapter 27, Dino, I, humanoid bug, 7 Sarudi remained silent, he really didn't know what to say, mainly because the lazy looking guy was able to say so much information, this made him wonder if he knew his true identity, okay, Alter, it's getting late, you leave here, 
I'm going to destroy the so-called demon, so let's say goodbye to it, I hope you don't die when we meet in the future. Dino waved his hand, grabbed Leon's body and walked towards the frozen Dylion, and Alter's pupils constricted. Looking at Dino who was slowly leaving, his breathing was much heavier. Who the hell are you? What is your purpose? And why do you know my identity? Alter asked solemnly. She has always disliked her fate being controlled by others. Now this lazy looking guy actually knows his true identity. So does it mean that he still knows some plans? These are all uncontrollable factors. Makes her want to kill this Dino directly. There's no reason. I just think you're beautiful. And I miss your people. Otherwise I'd have killed you long ago. So don't die when you see that I like you so much. Dino waved his hand. He let out a smile. And Alter's face froze not knowing what expression to use to face this, shy, outraged. At this moment Alta felt mixed emotions. Glancing deeply at Dino's back, he turned to leave after recalling his appearance in his mind. Since this is the case, then I have to stop here. People go. Dino also raised his eyebrows and shook his head. Alta is a very attractive woman. Of course, appearance is also an important factor. Taking Leon to the bottom of the moon temple. He looked at the huge frozen statue and meditated. It's a pity it's dead, otherwise it could be collected as an exhibit. Dino muttered, reaching out and grabbing. A special bottle appeared with some strange light groups inside. This is the drop of the moon, which is a good thing to thaw absolutely ice. Hit the contents of the bottle on the ice sculpture that Dylan pulled. Soon the ice sculpture on its body was slowly melting, and the whole picture was revealed after a while. Looking at the demon who was about to wake up. Dino quickly raised his palm and placed it on the statue. A steady stream of magic power emerged in the body, and a huge magic circle appeared at the bottom of the entire statue, smashing magic middle dot disintegration. With that said, the magic poured out, and the entire statue began to shatter. Small fragments spread all over the statue's body in an instant. Rumbling tilde, the sound of crushing resounded. The entire statue was shattered. In this regard, Dilionra was also eliminated, and the huge rumbling sound here also made Toby and Geely hurried over to check. After coming in, I saw Dino and Leon in his hand directly. Lord Leon. Ow. The two immediately exclaimed, and immediately started to attack Dino. Watching the attack of the two, Dino didn't have any idea of learning from them, so he fainted. Also tied up and flew towards the village. Within the village, Dino pulled a few people into the room, where Urza was still waiting. Give. After throwing the three of Leon to the ground, Dino went straight to the side, closed his eyes and started to sleep soundly. Dino, you are indeed a kind-hearted person so don't kill people casually in the future. Urza smiled, and Dino didn't answer at all. Here Urza threw them aside after rechecking the ropes on Leon's three. Get some rest early, you should go back tomorrow. Dino lifted his eyelids to speak again and fell silent again. Dot. The next day, Grey woke up from the room, and after asking the people in the village, he walked directly towards Urza. Soon, just as he opened the door and was about to speak, he found Urza sitting there in armor, eyes are cold. A.I. Dot 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 Urza. Grey was startled, as he spoke. He was ready to turn and leave. Grey. Urza yelled. Grey's body turned stiffly, and then forced to smile. Just as he was about to speak, he saw Leon and the others beside him. Leon. Grey clenched his fists, and was a little curious as to what the hell was going on. Could it be that Natsu has already defeated people? Wearing whirring. At this time, Dino in a corner next to him was snoring. Grey was also silent. Apparently it wasn't Natsu who did it. Natsu isn't with you? Find him and go back. Urza began. At this moment Grey directly shook his head. No. You should also know the situation in the village, especially Leon intends to resurrect the demon Dalion. I can't let it go, even if I go back and accept the punishment, I must first deal with the danger here, Grey said. Urza's face was cold, this is not your task, I have already handed it over to Dino, and he also defeated all the enemies last night, and even Dalion pulled him to smash it, so the task has been completed. What? Grey was startled, looking at Dino who was sleeping soundly, he couldn't believe it. Absolutely clean can't be broken, Grey said. At this time, Dino slowly woke up, glanced at him and sneered, what garbage is absolutely icy, as long as my strength is strong enough to destroy the world, an absolute icy is not within my grasp, this world does have certain rules, but if I come to this world, then the so-called rules will be completely broken, me, it's just a human bug, there's nothing I can't do, chapter 28, the battle is over, 8, Grey was silent, I also didn't know what to say either, I always feel that Dino is a little too arrogant at the moment, but he has to say where he is arrogant and can't say it. Okay, it's time to retreat when I find Natsu. I still have things to do when I get back, Urza said. Grey nodded, and he still decided to go to the Temple of the Moon and have a look. And Dino closed his eyes again after seeing the person leaving. His strength is indeed very powerful, and it is indeed very simple to destroy the Absolute Pinchy, because he knows that only the magic power of the moon drop is ineffective. And as he used to have a sign-in system, he also gained a lot in just one year. Basically everything in the fairy tale world. He basically has, so cracking a die lion pull is not easy. Soon, Grey walked back with Natsu lost. 
The expression on his face was also not very good. Ah, how cunning, Dino. You actually defeated Leon ahead of time and made me run away in vain. Natsu yelled as soon as he came in. Boom. Before he could go on, Urza punched Natsu in the head. Natsu, I need to beat you up here before taking you back, Urza said. Natsu closed his mouth with a look of grievance and dared not speak. He himself is just wrong, so he can't say anything for a while, so he has to accept his fate. It's getting late, quickly deal with the follow-up issues and go back. Dino greeted. A group of people also left the room directly. When you are outside, you can also meet people in the village. In time. But seeing that they still look like they are not human or ghosts, it really makes Natsu and others feel strange. Hey, shouldn't it? Now Dai Lion has been eliminated, so why are they still looking like this? Is there some hidden danger? Grey asked. Urza also thought about it, couldn't help but looked up at the sky, then looked at Dino. The latter also rubbed his sleepy eyes and yawned. There is a hood above the village, and it will be fine after the hood is destroyed at night. The people in their village are not physically altered, but their memory is a little confused. Damn, Dino is so powerful so quickly found the reason. Lucy was shocked. Urza nodded too. She had such a guess before, but she didn't expect it to be like this. Here is also a simple talk to the villagers. Then rest and prepare to wait until the evening to deal with these problems. And Grey found Leon to start a heart-to-heart -heart talk. The two brothers and sisters didn't know what to say. Grey, your apprentice is really good, I admit that I can't beat you. Leon looked at Grey. And Grey was a little confused. What are you talking about? Who is my apprentice? I have no apprentices at all. I don't understand what you are talking about. Leon told the Dino thing again. Grey then took a breath. You're really lucky you didn't get killed by him, Grey said. Then came the negotiations between their brothers and sisters. Outside, Dino yawned, and after using that move on Leon, it was indeed going to make people face death. Fortunately, he himself has related treatment drugs. Otherwise, this Leon wouldn't be able to wake up so quickly, and he still looked so alive. Night, with the cooperation of Urza and Natsu, the hood in the sky was also destroyed. The whole village has recovered. That night, Urza and Dino pressed Lucy and the others onto the boat and left here. It stands to reason that this task was taken privately and cannot be paid for, but considering Dino's hard work, it is considered that you have received a commission out of your conscience, Urza said. And Dino pouted. Just kidding, this money itself is what he should have taken, otherwise wouldn't it be unfortunate this time? Wasting so much time in vain without even getting a reward is called foolish behavior. On the other hand, Lucy was looking at the celestial spirit key in Dino's hand. The reason why she came here is the key. The result is now nothing. I remember the key was Sagittarius. The key for Sagittarius is a man, right? Dino thought. Lucy nodded quickly. Yes, the keys to the Zodiac are still very rare. Heard here. Dino threw the key directly to Lucy. I'll give it to you then. Dino said. Huh? Lucy was surprised, and quickly took the key and looked at Dino in shock. Dino brother, this is the Zodiac sign. Then Dino yawned. Well, the Zodiac sign is very powerful but I can't use it. I use the zodiac sign, which is different from your zodiac sign. In addition, Sagittarius is too bad. My collection has no value. Dino waved his hand in disapproval. The relationship between the zodiac signs and the zodiac signs is different. Dino can be sure that the strength of this Sagittarius is definitely not as good as the horse zodiac in his zodiac. In addition, Sagittarius is male and ugly, so he has no interest in collecting. Might as well send it directly to Lucy. This. Lucy smacked his lips. This is the zodiac sign that brother Dino threw to him as garbage, and suddenly felt a little lost. Since Dino gave it to you, you can take it Lucy, Urza said. This, then thank you Dino brother. Lucy blushed and agreed, she wouldn't dislike it anyway. In my heart, I also decided to help brother Dino well, and I will definitely be able to repay this kind of favor in the future. And Dino waved his hand and said nothing. Chapter 29, Coveting My Body, Bar, Scumbag, Nine Fairy Tale Guild. When the group came back. They were also welcomed by many people. Dino yawned when he saw the bustling crowd, and came to the front desk to sit down and look at the busy Mira Jane. Ah, Dino, aren't you going to sleep? Mira Jane asked. Dino nodded. I can't sleep, without Mira Jane to sleep with me. I always feel that something is missing, so do you want to go on a date? Mira Jane squinted her eyes and smiled. Ugh, I thought Dino had a wonderful trip with Urza these two days, but I didn't expect you to really care. No no no, I'm not Quakesin. I just give women all over the world a home. Dino shook his head and said righteously. Mira Jane smiled and didn't answer. Dino is thinking in his heart. In fact, he knows that Mira Jane is also thinking. Coupled with the affairs of my sister listener and my brother Almanf, I am not so happy usually. But Dino wasn't in a hurry. Hey, Dino. At this moment, Kana's voice sounded from the side. Dino looked over and smelled it and found that Kana didn't drink, which was really a bit shocking. Kana, are you quitting drinking? Dino asked. Kana stared at him very seriously and said. Dino, don't you forget that when you were on a mission before, you said that I quit drinking for three days, and then we went on a date together, I'm looking forward to you, this brat, have the guts, now this is selective amnesia, saying this, 
She also looked contemptuous. To be honest, she really looked down on Dino a little, and she would forget such an important thing. Sure enough, it is the selective forgetting of fear. Khan are you serious? Dino was speechless, and he mentioned it casually at first, but he didn't expect Kana to really remember it. Of course, are you afraid? Kana said. Hearing this, Dino was a little unhappy, joking, will he still be afraid? Absolutely impossible. Whoever is afraid, it's not a date, so dare to go now. Dino said. Kana raised her eyebrows, okay, whoever cancels his grandson. Go. Let's go. Creek Tilda. Bang Tilda. The two people scolded each other and left the guild directly. Anon looked at Dino who left and still didn't follow, sitting in Dino's original position and drinking the basin of milk that Mira Jane prepared for her. Erza frowned and was in a bad mood. Levy over there is also silent. Mira Jane was also a little distracted, then got busy again. Lucy's words were also depressed and rested on the table. Outside, Dino and Kana on the street were a little silent. Although they were sullen in the guild, they were actually newbies. There is nothing to be afraid of just having a meal or chatting. But, it's a little uncomfortable when it comes to dating or something. It's getting late, let's go have a meal first. Speaking of which, I slept most of the time and rarely went shopping. Dino suggested. Kana nodded, yeah. The two walked into a restaurant and ate happily. Comes out again soon. After walking on the road for a long time, I found two people coming to the door of a hotel. They were silent after looking at each other. Dot. Late at night, Dino came out of the hotel with a yawn. I believe you. This old woman is very bad. She said that she played adult games, and the result was drinking, gambling, telling dirty jokes. Cow Cow was also standing beside the street and the wind was blowing. Dino was angry. He always thought that the game of adults was the kind of game he thought, but the woman Kana dragged him to drink, gamble and tell dirty jokes. Suddenly Dino found that he was too naive to believe that Kana coveted his body. Pooh, scumbag, forget it. Let's go to the bar for a drink. Dino muttered and quickly walked towards the bar that was still open. After entering, I also found that the bar is not too lively. Frowning here, I couldn't help looking over, and found that some people were crowded together, and near the counter over the drink, there was a long-haired man eating something unknown. With long black hair and a shawl, he has a vest with iron edges on his body, and there are some iron features on his body. It also looks arrogant. Dino narrowed his eyes and thought and quickly recognized who this guy was. Gajil, Dino muttered to himself. He quickly put on an innocent smile again and walked over the slowly, sitting directly in front of the counter. Boss. Bring me a beer. Dino greeted. This sound suddenly made many people in the bar stand. How dare he sit there? Is he not afraid that the man will fail? Looking at the badge on this new kid's shoulder, it seems to be from the fairy tale guild, but the man is from the phantom lord guild. Is this going to fight? It doesn't always feel good, and the goblin's person looks very weak. I guess he can't beat that person. The aura is not good. It is estimated that the loss is very bad. Let's leave quickly. That's right. Lest you beckon a disaster. Dot. Everyone in the bar whispered. It felt like something big was going to happen here, so I ran out of here talking directly. Soon there were not many people left in the bar. The people who are still here are people who want to watch the fun, and they are not afraid of any trouble. Hope these two can fight. And in front of the counter, Gajil also stopped eating and looked at Dino next to him. There was a cruel look in his eyes, especially when he learned that Dino was a member of the Fairy Tail Guild, he made no secret of his aura. Chapter 30, Gajil of the Spectre. Tenyo it turns out that this brother is from a ghost. Speaking of which, when the ghost will come to our fairy tale guild as a guest, don't say anything, and our president will entertain you well. Dino greeted with a smile. Seeing that the atmosphere was getting more and more anxious, the bar owner put down the drink and immediately turned around and ran out. Joke. Although the bar is his, once the two of them fight, it will definitely cause controversy. At that time, the destruction of the bar is a trivial matter, and maybe it will affect his own life and it is a fool to continue to stay. Roll. Gajil retracted his gaze and spat out a word. And the smile on Dino's face also solidified. This Gajil is really courting death. The eyes also hung up with a smile. My mood was also bad all of a sudden, and I was thinking about how to make this guy feel the beatings of society. Hey, you are actually eating iron. Are you hungry and can't afford to eat? Do you want me to invite you to eat? You look very sloppy. I guess you are also a lower level member of the ghost. Are you coming to join us in fairy tale? Question mark Dino continued. Gajil didn't have any influence at first. But it soon became unbearable, and this side raised his right fist and hit Dino. The fist, carrying the gust of wind, hit Dino's head. Getting closer, the strong wind was blowing on Dino's head from a distance, and the blowing hair couldn't help shaking. Dino, on the other hand, continued to drink beer. Seeing that the fist was about to land on Dino's head. Dino raised his left hand and opened his palm to block the punch with a peng sound. Yo, it looks like you have a good temper. To be honest Gajil, I really doubt the purpose of your coming here. Can you tell me? Dino smiled. Cut. Gajil snorted, and sure enough, this guy was pretending to be garlic. Even if he knew him, he deliberately pretended not to know him, and it was simply too much to say anything about the lower level personnel of ghosts. Not so simple people at all. In my heart, 
I was also taking seats one by one according to the information I got. After thinking for a long time, I didn't realize that this provocation was a big man. Iron Dragon Stick. Gajil yelled. The fist that was originally caught instantly turned into an iron rod and the length continued to spread. Greek. The Iron Dragon Rod pushed against Dino. And Dino was pushed out several meters away from the stool, but never fell off the stool. This made Gajil look annoyed, retracted his arms and put down some iron on the table in front of him and quietly looked at Dino. He knows, although this guy is not very famous, it is obvious that his strength should not be underestimated. Hey, Gajil, your temper is really grumpy, but I'm also kind, so you treat me like this. Dino got off the stool. He shook his hand and spoke with an unhappy expression on his face. So much nonsense, fight if you want, or get out if you don't, Gajil said. Dino is in trouble again. Is this Gajil too arrogant, or should he kill him? Think about it or deny it. If Phantom Lord and Fairy Tail can't fight, it's up to Gajil and it seems a bit bad to just kill them. But, Dina felt that it was still necessary to teach Gajil to be a human being. Let him know that people should not be too arrogant outside, otherwise they will be embarrassed by others. Then come on, let me see how powerful the Iron Dragon Slayer is. Dino moved his body. I was also thinking about what ability I'd use this time. Is it the same Dragon Slayer magic, or the often used smashing magic, or celestial spirit magic is also good. Or use those forbidden magic and super magic. Swoosh tilde. Just when Dino thought about it, Gajil rushed towards him. The wooden floor on the ground was cracked, and the fists were clenched together and hit Dino's head again. Boyo die wide. Dino looked at the cracked floor and exaggerated admiration. Standing on the spot, he clenched his right fist and collided with Gajil. Kakaka tilde. Moment. Dino's feet also sank sharply, and his body was pushed nearly a meter away. Other than that, nothing has changed. Seeing this, Gajil immediately kicked with a right high whip leg again. Dino hurriedly raised his left arm and stood up to block the powerful kick and his body only shivered slightly to defuse Gajil's power. Iron Dragon Stick. Gajil's face changed in shock. His two moves were stunned that he didn't bring any injuries, and he understood that he had to use moves. This fist turned into an Iron Dragon Stick and punched Dino's chest tactfully. Boom. Dino didn't go to defense. The blow was caught abruptly, and the Iron Dragon Stick collided with the chest, making a loud crashing sound. There was a gust of wind that collided around the two and spread out blowing away the tables and stools one by one. Those who watched at the door of the bar were in awe. It's too powerful. Whether it's a ghost or a goblin, it's very powerful. This destructive power is not simple. Looking at the floor, I can't stand it anymore. It's not bad for Fairy Tail and Phantom Lord. The people in these two guilds are not simple. I don't know who will win. I always feel that the ghost's winning rate is higher. F King Ghost, he is a ghost. The ghosts all started to use moves and the handsome guy on the opposite side didn't even start to fight back. You don't need to think much about this battle to know that it must be that handsome brat who won. Dot. The people around were chatting lively. I didn't know that it was very dangerous to watch the battle here, and they continued to watch them one by one. Chapter 31, Crush Gajil's Strength. Add 200 evaluation votes. Bang 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 tilde. Inside the bar, after dozens of rounds, the bar at this moment is already in a mess. The floor was cracked and holes and shards of wood were all over the place. Even the walls in the bar were punched with large holes, and the surrounding residents had already been frightened and left their rooms, avoiding them far away. The tables, chairs and benches in the bar were all messed up. In the field, both sides are also different. The first is that Gajil's face became more and more gloomy, and Dino, who was looking at the opposite, no longer dared to come forward easily. In the dozens of rounds just now, he was constantly attacking. The guy in front of him has been on the defensive, and there is no sign of counterattack at all. But it is precisely because of this that Gajil feels that this person is unfathomable. You guy will never be unknown. Who the hell is? Gajil scolded. He thinks his strength is pretty good. Even if he couldn't compare to the president. He was definitely a trump card. In this situation, fighting with all his might would not be able to cause any harm to the people in front of him. This is the most terrifying. I'm just a boring person who joined the guild by accident. Dino yawned. He has tested Gajil's current strength in all the battles just now. Dino has no interest in procrastinating. The magic in the body is slightly rippling. Get ready to attack. Gajil on the opposite side keenly sensed something was wrong, and immediately puffed out his cheeks. The magic circle appeared. Iron Dragon's roar. Q or tilde. The roaring attack that roared out slammed into Dino. The wooden board on the ground between the two suffered heavy damage again, and the wooden board cracked and a wide ravine was left traces by the powerful attack. The destructive roaring attack swept through with unparalleled destructive power. Iron Dragon's iron pieces are mixed in the silver whirlwind impact, and those hit will be instantly destroyed. Your attack is still as weak as ever. Dino raised his eyelids slightly to take a look at this seemingly powerful attack, and his hand slammed into his chest. His cheeks expanded like a frog, and a blood-red fiery flame flowed from the corners of his mouth. Fire Dragon's roar. The temperature was so high that it even distorted the air the moment it was spit out. The flame set the entire bar on fire and the extremely wide-ranging roar of flames collided with Gajil's equally destructive roar. Boom boom tilde. The two collide. 
the two attributes are constantly competing. If a careful person takes a closer look, they will find that the iron pieces in the silver whirlwind are melted within a moment or three after touching the flame. Dino's unintentional move against Gajil was enough. How is it possible? You are obviously not a fire dragon. Why do you use fire dragon's moves? Gajil was startled. He couldn't believe what he saw. The dragon roared. Obviously, it is also a kind of fire attribute of dragon slayer magic, but according to the clues he got, fire dragon slayer magic is definitely not a move that the person in front of him will know. But why does it appear at this time? This is absolutely impossible. Bang tilde. The roars of the two were entangled, and finally a stronger force erupted and swept the surrounding ground again. At this moment, the ground of the bar has been completely broken, and the tables, chairs and benches have also been affected by the battle between the two people. Many things were even shredded and destroyed. The last two attacks disappeared, leaving only the ruins on the ground. Think about it after you lose. Dino said. In the next moment, the body turned into an iron black appearance, and scales appeared on the body one by one. He, entered shadow iron dragon mode. His eyes turned into vertical pupils, full of destructive power and majesty. The right fist is surrounded by magic. Dino sank and stepped on the ground. Swoosh tilde, peng. Immediately sprinting out, the huge crater was once again broken open by the huge impact force under his feet that had leaked out of the soil. In an instant, Dino came to gauge you. The right fist clenched together and a magic circle emerged. Shadow Iron Dragon's steel fist. Buzz tilde, rumbling tilde, bang. The entire bar shuddered under the blow. Facing the main opponent of this blow, Gajil can clearly feel that the power of this punch is many times stronger than before. Gajil knew he couldn't hide. Gritting his teeth, he instantly covered his body with Iron Dragon's scales, burning all the magic in his body. Swing out his most powerful move. Iron Dragon's steel fist. Whoosh, boom boom tilde. The two fists collided instantly. At that moment, the magic wave of the battle attacked everywhere. The walls of the bar swayed slowly. The originally hard environment was also impacted by a piece of stone that fell. You're still too weak. Dino's A's were calm, and his fist was slammed forward. Gajil gritted his teeth and fought hard. But, Kakatilda, in the next second, he couldn't bear the huge force, and his arm made a sound of fracture. The power leaked out for a while. After he had no strength to fight against Dino, his body was instantly knocked out. Bang tilde. She broke through the wall of the bar and fell on the street outside. Lin Lin lay on the ground with physical scars, unable to move. Gajil wanted to get up. But now he was clearly not allowed to. Dino withdrew his magic and his body recovered. Glancing at the ruined bar is also a bit speechless and yawns. Forget it. Always destroying other people's property for no reason will be preached by the elder of the association. Thinking. He waved his hand. Chapter 32. Kana. Dino. Let's do it again. 1000 flowers plus more I saw that the destroyed bar began to recover. In no time. The entire bar returned to its pre-battle clean state. People watching the fun outside couldn't help but sigh. Dai Qo, such a powerful magic, can restore the destroyed bar. This seemingly lazy wizard is so strong. As expected of a member of the fairy tale guild. The strength is really strong. It is a great joy in our life to have such a guild here. What a powerful wizard. I don't know if he is married or not. Great. Really great. Dot. One by one passers-by who were watching the lively exclaimed, No way! Whether it was defeating the Phantom Lord, or restoring a bar that was about to collapse in one move, it was not something that ordinary people could do. This made them even more impressed with Fairy Tale and with Dino, and also more admiration. When the battle was over, Dino repeatedly returned to his sleepless appearance, looking past Gajil, who was lying on the ground, he was also listless and ready to leave. Who are you? If I'm not mistaken, your last move is Iron Dragon Slayer magic. Why do you do this kind of magic? Is it also taught by Mete Akane who taught you magic? Gajil asked. He didn't understand that he was the Iron Dragon Slayer. Why this guy could also have this kind of magic. Unless he wasn't the only one who taught Mete Akane back then. But thinking that it belonged to Fire Dragon's moves before, I wondered again. Could it be that Fire Dragon also taught him to do it? But why are there two kinds of Dragon Slayer magic? You think too much. I'm not your brother, don't mess with the relationship, Dino muttered, yawned and turned away, I'm too tired today, I'll spare your life, I hope you'll remember my gift, and I hope you leave our fairy tale guild's territory as soon as possible, if I encounter it again, I may not only hit you, but also it's not a good idea to go to your guild to play the gym, Dino said, step by step away from the bar door disappeared, Gajil was angry and helpless, he resisted the pain in his body and got up and left. The people watching the Lively around saw that both parties had left and lost their interest in continuing to watch the Lively, so they immediately dispersed. Except for a few people, there are still theoretical discussions about the restored bar at home. As a big favorite of Dino, I am also very interested in buying real estate. Most of the rooms are also rented out, usually only a 200 square meter house not far from the guild. Open the door, turn on the light, and walk towards the bedroom, but soon found a person lying on the bed in the bedroom. F.K. Kana. Why are you here? Dina was startled. You must know that not long ago, 
The two of them fooled Dino into drinking at the hotel just because they were angry and refused to admit defeat. Why did you suddenly come to your home? Dino is back. Hurry up and sleep. Kana greeted, wrapped in thin clothing. Dino's scalp tingles. Ahem. Don't you plan to come to me for a drink every day in the future? I can explain in advance that I don't want to be an alcoholic. Dino said, drinking alcohol can delay a lot of things. Especially if you want to let Anna know, you will definitely be angry. Plus Dino doesn't want to be the second alcoholic Kana either. I thought it wouldn't matter if I was fooled once. I didn't expect her to suddenly appear again. Well, how do I say it? I think you're fine, so I decide to move and in the future. You shouldn't refuse it. Kana said. This made Dino's head as big as hump. What's up still drinking out the feelings? Dino was speechless. But after thinking about it, there is no way. I had to accept my fate. Anyway, he didn't suffer. The daring and the timid starved to death. Everyone is an adult with self-awareness. Hey, whatever. He sighed and went to wash up, then came back soon. Looking at Kana who was still staring at him also made Dino a little speechless. Here, soon lay side by side. Dino, do you know who I am? Kana asked. Dino thought back. If I remember correctly. Kana should be the child left over from Gildart's romantic time. Gildart's is your father, right, Dino said. Now it was Kana's turn to be shocked. How did you know? Did the president tell you? She was surprised. In the entire guild, only the guild leader seems to know her background, and now Dino, a new member of the guild for three years, knows about it, unless the guild leader said it on his own initiative, or Dino asked. I just discovered it by accident. Actually, Gildart's just doesn't know you exist. If he knew. He would definitely love you very much, Dino replied. Really? Kano was stunned. She didn't know what to do, whether to let her father know or not to let him know. But I thought maybe we would meet after becoming S rank. Dino, what do you think I should do? Kana leaned close to Dino, as if a helpless little girl was expressing her grievance in her heart. Let's meet sooner, Gildarts would love to see that too, Dino said. Kana also whispered softly after thinking, Dino, let's fight the bar again. R? Okay, as you wish. Dot. Chapter 33 the guild was smashed by someone. Another next day, Kana smiled and followed Dino's side. The two walked towards the guild residence. My god, Kana, you are a heroic god of wine. Such a little jade is not in line with your character at all. Dino looked at Kana with a shy face. Immediately understood that the Kana at the moment was broken. No one can believe that this is a famous alcoholic in the fairy tale guild. Giggle what's the matter? People will always change. Besides, now there is a lady who will naturally change after you, Kana said, changed from the heroic before, now laughing is covering his mouth and squinting his eyes, Dino opened his mouth and couldn't say anything, you said she was too fake, it's not true, a living person always has different personalities and can't be said to be the same, in addition, under the guidance of Dino, he can't say anything about the so-called the S-class mages are not so persistent, it's not someone who can't face Gildarts either, personality changes are also normal, okay, as long as you're happy, Dino muttered. The two of them continued to walk slowly towards the guild residence. Look, they are from the fairy tale guild. It's a pity, I never expected this kind of thing to happen to the guild, and I shouldn't know what they look like. Be quiet, don't let them hear, or they'll be angry. Yeah, on the way, the people they met were all avoiding each other as if they had seen a ghost, whispering to each other in a low voice. Both Dino and Kana couldn't help frowning, wondering what was going on with them. Dino, look at the guild. At this time, Kana's advancing body also stopped and she looked up in the direction of the guild station. Dino also looked over, just in the distance. At this moment, the guild residence was penetrated by three or five huge iron rods, and the entire guild looked extremely tragic. Seeing this, Dino's whole face turned cold. Sure enough, Gaiji really didn't cry without seeing the coffin. He had already warned him last night, but he still dared to do it. Great, you have the kind of thing, Gaiji. Go, Dino said. The two walked quickly towards the guild station, which was empty at the moment. Without anyone to guide, Kana and Dino walked into the guild's basement, opened the door. A group of people from the guild were sitting here, and the atmosphere was heavy and everyone kept silent. He looked up when he heard someone coming in. It's the ghost guy, right? Probably the Iron Dragon Slayer Gajil, Dino said. Mira Jane nodded. Yes, the guild station was attacked last night, and it was only discovered in the morning. President Macruff sat on the box drinking wine. The other guild members were silent, even Natsu, who was out of his temper kept his mouth shut. Urza is sitting there holding Anan in his arms. I don't think Gajil will stop here, but you don't mind, President, so just pretend it didn't happen. Dino nodded. Just find a place to lie down and continue to rest. In his heart, he was thinking about what to do, kill Gajil. It doesn't seem too good, but considering that Gajil is going to attack Levi later, it seems that killing it is also a good idea. But if Gajil is not allowed to fight Levi and the others at night, then there is no valid reason to challenge Jose. Holy Ten Mage. Dino is still looking forward to it. With Dino's wearing sound of sleep, everyone in the guild spoke without a word. Time soon approached night. Everyone was about to go back to sleep, and Kano was sitting next to Dino, 
obviously planning to follow him. Go live with Lucy tonight. Gajil will probably do something to other people. Lucy, as the tenant of the house, still has the right to help take care of it. Dina said to Kana. Okay. Kana nodded. Go to Lucy here to explain the situation. Urza over there also decided to live with Lucy. As for Natsu, he was warned by Dino's eyes, and finally had to go back with Grey. One by one they left. Dino also left the guild, and after waiting at the door for a long time, he saw Levi come out with her two teammates. Levi, I have something for you, Dino said. Levi was curious, but nodded and let his partner leave first. He followed Dino and left to go somewhere else. Levi Chan really left us. Troy envied. Jade also patted him on the shoulder. Okay, Dino's strength is so strong that he can definitely protect Levi. The two walked away, shoulder to shoulder, and here Levi is walking with Dino by the river. Dino, what are you looking for from me? Levi asked, looking up. She's not tall enough to see Dino's face. It's nothing. I just want to chat with you for a walk. Dino replied. Levi's face turned red. I always feel that this is easy to misunderstand. Had to keep silent and follow Dino for a walk by the river. At this time, in the small alley, Jed and Roy walked towards the accommodation, shoulder to shoulder. I don't know what Levi is doing with Dino now, Droy thought. Jed laughed. Ha ha, maybe it won't work out on a date. As Roy was frantic. Just above their heads in a house, Gajiel looked like a wounded man with one arm wrapped around him. It's fortunate that I didn't meet the one named Dino. Otherwise it would be unfortunate, quickly put these two down and leave, Gajil said. Run towards the bottom. Chapter 34, their target is you. Todino took a walk with Levi at night. Seeing that it was very late, he sent Levi back to the staff dormitory, while he was wandering in the city. I don't know if Gajil has already started. Shaking his head and looking at him casually, he also walked towards the house. The next day, Magnolia City, Southgate Park. Dino walked over to this direction, and saw that Troy and Jed were on the tree at that moment. Droy. Jed. Levi stood by and covered his mouth in exclamation, looking at the two half-dead companions on the tree trunk in disbelief. Dino watched silently beside him. Soon, he heard the president's footsteps approaching. At this moment, Dino finally put on a smile and could finally fight. So Hose, A, eh, I hope your strength is strong enough. Don't ask for how powerful, just show the power that makes me serious. If you just smash the guild, you can be forgiven, but since you dare to hurt my child, Let's go to war, Macruff said. A wave of magic power also swept around. The ground on which he stood was squeezed out by this wave of spider-like cracks. The crutches in his hand were also crushed instantly, and the blue veins on the back of his hands burst out. Dino glanced slightly. After all, he was the president of Saint Ten, and this magic fluctuation really made him a little excited. Although not as good as him, I think Oz A, who is also the Holy Ten, should not be too bad. Thinking of this, Dino's state of laziness is just around the corner. Dot. The edge of the roof of Magnolia Hospital. Dino sits here quietly. Dino, aren't we going to challenge the ghost with the president? Anon asked on his shoulder. Dino, however, shook his head. No, we're other things, and the ghost's main goal this time isn't to provoke trouble. Dino denied. He vaguely remembered that Lucy was the main crux of the matter. You don't need to worry about ghosts or anything. Anyway, those people will still come to ask for trouble. Yeah, Anna nodded. Now, Ogu City in the northeast of the Kingdom of Four, in the Phantom Lord Guild. Natsu's group is fighting. There was no gauze in Gajil's right hand on the wooden shelf above, and it was obvious that someone helped heal the wound. Looking at the group of slapstick people below, the complexion is not very good. Lagosas, Mystican, and Dino didn't participate in the battle. The first two were fine, and according to the investigation, they weren't in the Goblin's Guild. But Dino didn't come, so if you say that, isn't Dino still in the Goblin's residence? Then Juvia and the others may fail. Apostrophe Gajil said. Originally, he thought that he should pay so much damage to attract all the fighting power in the fairy tale guild. Unexpectedly, Dino, the unexpected pawn, was not there. This can be a little troublesome. If he was protecting that Lucy, wouldn't it be the end? Forget it, let them be, Gajiel said. This side also rushed down into the battlefield. Dot. City of Magnolia. Lucy was walking in the small alley. Whoa, it rained suddenly in the sky. A woman in a blue dress and hat walked behind her. Xxxili. Yes, Juvia is the rain girl. Shook silly. Yo I'm finally waiting for you. Before Juvia could finish speaking, Dino's figure fell from the sky. Standing beside Lucy, he looked at Juvia with a smile. Brother Dino, why didn't you go to the guild leader to find ghosts? Lucy was surprised. Dino moves his neck down. It's very simple, because the ghost's target from beginning to end is you, Lucy Hartfilia. Dino said. Lucy's eyes narrowed suddenly. She was silent. Unexpectedly, Brother Dino knew his true identity. At the same time, I also have a general understanding of the so-called target of the ghosts. It should be the reward issued by my father, right? Thinking of this, she felt a little ridiculous. No matter what time, my father is so selfish. Who are you and why do you know our purpose? Juvio asked. Non 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 I really didn't expect that. There are still people who have insight into our plan. A figure appeared on the ground, and a guy with green hair and a beard appeared. He is one of the four elements of ghosts, 
known as Sol of the Earth, and Juvia is known as Juvia of the Sea. Don't talk so much nonsense, come on, let me see if you guys who are partners with Gajil have him to fight. Dino waved to them. Both Juvia and Sol said, looks like you're the one who wounded Mr. Gajil. Yeah, he's really weak. Dino laughed at this time, and then fell from the air, grabbed Lucy's clothes, and flew up and landed on the side of the roof. Anan, Dino asked me to take you to the side, don't disturb him fighting. Anan Nuo Nuo said, wait, I can fight too. Lucy struggled. Anan shook her head, you are too weak, Dino said. Lucy was instantly discouraged. I had no choice but to fall on the roof obediently and watch the battle below, and I was prepared to go down and help at any time. Below. The current is bound. Juvia stretched out his hand, and the huge water polo instantly surrounded Dino. In water polo, Dino touched the boundary of the water polo with interest. Juvia's current restraint is unbreakable, said Juvia. Then this time, Dino blinked and his body exuded a lot of low temperature, which froze the entire water polo in no time. Karka tilde. In the next second, the ice hockey cracked and shattered quickly. Dino landed on the ground again. It's useless, Juvia. Your moves don't work for me. Simply put, it's my extreme ability to restrain you. Dino said. Water magic is great. But unfortunately Dino ignored this ability. Juvia doesn't believe it. The water cuts through. Juvia stretched out her hand and made another move. The magic circle appeared, and the water blades appeared one after another. Control them to attack Dino again. I said it's useless, even your abilities can't hurt me even a cent, Dino said. Stand still and let Juvia attack him. Nothing useful. Chapter 35 Hope you two don't die. Three the water blades that fell on Dino's body were dissolved and disappeared. Juvia was also very depressed to see this scene. Your own moves are useless, how can you fight? Non 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 Miss Juvia, it looks like we are going to join forces. Sol bends back and forth, making one wonder if he'll be twisted. Juvia is a little pissed off. Seeing that Juvia had not been able to defeat Dino for a long time, he was not in a good mood. His eyes were not good and the temperature of the rain began to rise slowly. Dino stood in the original position still watching quietly. In my heart, I was thinking about how to deal with Juvia and this soul. Who should I kill? Kill them all or just one? Water fierce whip. A magic circle appeared in Juvia's hand, and a stream of water stayed in her palm. Soon the water flow formed a long whip, slapped Tilda, reaching out and pumping. He immediately controlled the whip to wrap around Dino's body, trapping him tightly. Soul, get rid of him quickly, Juvia ordered. Soul didn't even have time to say his own mantra. The same magic circle emerged, and a burst of sandy smoke appeared, surrounding the entire rally. Roof. Lucy was also a little anxious looking at the scene where no one could be seen. Anon, I can summon Taurus to help brother Dino. He shouldn't be too busy fighting the four elements of two ghosts by himself, Lucy said. Anon looked at Lucy quietly with her big eyes. After waiting for a while, he said quietly, Dino asked me to watch you. And you are not allowed to join the battle so you can just watch it quietly. If you don't obey, you will be beaten by Dino. I have been beaten before. Weird feeling, Lucy. Do you want to try it? What the hell? Lucy groaned. I didn't expect big brother Dino to have such a hobby, but he still didn't dare to try it. It would be too embarrassing to be beaten in that kind of place. His eyes continued to stay in the small alley surrounded by sand and soil, and his heart was also tightly held together. Dino is awesome, but she couldn't help but worry. Maybe this is the so-called concern and chaos. I can't wait to clear the sand below so that I can see the battle situation. Below, the surroundings were shrouded in smoke formed by sandy soil. Juvia and Sol were not seen. The rock concerto, water laser. At this time, the voices of the two people sounded, and Dino felt two attacks coming towards him in front of him. One of them was a massive amount of rocks attacking him. The other is a stream of water that shoots at Dino in a laser state. Both attacks are pretty good. Hit Dino with great speed. Bang 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 tilde, sounded. Dino was bound by Juvia's water whip and couldn't move, which caused the two attacks to hit him hard. Oh? Are your attacks gone? The rain fell soaking Dino's hair, and he still stood. The attack just now stained Dino's clothes with some dust and dirt, but it quickly recleaned under the scouring of the rain. You are the most powerful wizard Juvia has ever seen. Juvia's voice sounded in the sand, and the tone was heavy. It may be quite shocking to think that there is no way to kill Dino in this way, but Juvia is going to be angry, said Juvia. At this time, Dino couldn't help but look up at the falling rain. These new rain temperatures are not so cold, but a little bit of a boil. Also a rough guess. The body is breaking free here and he feels that it is getting late and this boring battle should be ended. Then hope you can stand it, Dino said. Kaka tilde, boom, with the force of his body, Juvia's fierce whip of water was torn apart alive. The next secondary Juvia's new move attacked. The water is rising. A huge stream of water gushed from the soles of Dino's feet and sent him up into the sky. The temperature of the water stream is high. Dino's exposed skin was also reddened by the hot water. It's a powerful move, but unfortunately it's not powerful enough. Dino murmured while looking at his own skin. The next moment, a huge magic circle appeared above his head, and a force of gravity instantly suppressed it, pressing Dino alive and the water to the ground. This is gravity magic. The effect is also gravity, 
and the combination of offense and defense can be described as a pretty good magic. I hope you two don't die. Dino speaks in the water. I saw his hand stretched out to the sides and grabbed fiercely. Seven magic wands of different shapes appeared in the palm of his hand. Opposite Juvia and Sol were immediately alert. They knew Dino was going to start a counterattack. The power and moves are absolutely amazing. After all, someone who can break Gage Eel's arm should not be underestimated. Dino just stepped out of the water, throwing both hands. Seven magic wands pierced through the air to form a circle around Juvia. Triple magic array Ying. The palms of both hands were crossed in front of Juvia. The voice just fell. Juvia and Sol were startled. I saw a larger magic circle appear above their heads. Rumbling tilde. The sky changes color. The clouds that were originally gloomy over the alley were thicker. Lightning is brewing in the clouds. The three magic circles rotate slowly. Kaka tilde. Rumbling tilde. The thunder suddenly fell and the lightning as thin as a needle and thread penetrated the magic circle, layer after layer. After each layer, it becomes thicker and stronger. Three magic arrays came down and directly hit Juvia and Sol. A uh, scream sounded. The two wanted to resist this move, but they still underestimated the power of this thunder. The powerful destructive power instantly burned the clothes of the two people, and there were burn marks of thunder on the skin. Instantly lay on the ground unable to move. Chapter 36, It's the Man Again. For the mist formed by the sand is slowly dissipating, and the rain in the sky is slowly stopping. Perhaps it was because of the brewing of Dino's thunder, which also successfully broke through the thick fog in the sky. The sun shines on the ground. In Juvia's face, she looked at the clear sky, slightly ecstatic. Brother Dino, are you all right? At this time, Lucy jumped off the roof, landed next to Dino and hurried up and down to check. It's okay. Dino nodded with a smile. Step by step, they walked towards Juvia. D-A-D-A-D-A tilde. The footsteps sounded and Juvia took a deep breath and a smile appeared on her face. Being able to let Juvia see the sun once before dying is considered a death without regret. Although we are enemies, I still want to say thank you, Juvia said. Dino stood in front of her and looked at Juvia, who was smiling. I want to kill you, as long as you beg for mercy, I can spare you. Dino narrowed his eyes. Then Juvia shook her head. Juvia won't beg for mercy, and the world may be better without Juvia, so that my companions won't say things like rainy days that I hate. Maybe death is where Juvia belongs. Juvia begged for death. President Jose's mission has not been completed, and even if he goes back to the guild, there will be no good results. Might as well let the man who helped him see the sun kill him. I beg your pardon, to be honest, I personally like rainy days, because the air is very fresh and cool after raining. Dino muttered. It's such a simple sentence. Juvia's face flushed with a swish. Immediately shrink into a ball and roll around on the ground. Hey hey hey. That's not it. You must be thinking about something right? Lucy couldn't help but complain. Dino is also a little confused. What's going on here? Soon Juvia stopped and looked at Dino. You're still the first person to like Juvia. Okay. Dino was stunned. What's the matter? He said he likes rainy days. This has something to do with Juvia. What exactly is this woman thinking about? Juvia will live for you. After Juvia finished speaking, he hurriedly stood up and stretched out his hand to grab the fainted sol and walked away slowly. There was no rain in the sky this time. After people leave, only then did Dino react and couldn't help asking Lucy. Did she take this opportunity to escape on purpose? Lucy opened his mouth. It's really possible. Forget it. I was negligent this time. I'll kill them next time. After being depressed for a while, Dino regained his listless expression and walked towards the guild residence. Lucy followed behind with his head down. I don't even know what was on my mind. Basement 1. Mira Jane was still guarding here, and when she heard someone approaching, she quickly looked over vigilantly. Dino and Lucy were also overjoyed to find out. Dino, Lucy, you guys are here. But Dino. Don't you like fighting very much? Why didn't you follow the president and the others to the gym this time? Mira Jane was curious. Yet Dino yawned. Sitting at the front desk, I lie down and close my eyes. Lucy told what happened to him just now. Damn it, the ghosts and their target turned out to be you. Mira Jane clenched her fists, exasperatedly angry. Then he looked at Dino and rejoiced again. Fortunately with you, otherwise Lucy would have been caught. I didn't expect you to care about people. Mira Jane sighed. Dino can be a headache at times. But sometimes it is quite reliable such a boy is really likable. Well, President, they should be back soon. Dino nodded. The mind also judges the time. This time, the ghost's arrest plan has ended. I don't know if they will come to attack in the future. If not, Dino might consider going to the gym alone. He was looking forward to the battle with the Holy Ten Sorcerers. It's also recuperating now. I don't know. It should be a long fight. The President has personally dispatched. This time, things will not be so simple and end here. Mira Jane shook her head. Dino looked at her and didn't answer. Hit. That's not good. 80% of the elders will still be recruited. Dot. Now, inside the Phantom Lord Guild. Boom. Jose slapped the stool and his face darkened. You said the plan to capture Lucy Hartfilia failed? The president asked. Juvia below nodded. Yes, Juvia and Sol can't fight together with a man named Dino. Juvia replied. Jose was short of breath. Dino again. Gagiel was broken by this guy, 
and now the two four elements can't beat a person. Who the hell is this guy? Never heard of such a person in fairy tale. Why is fairy tale so talented? Humphrey, if it wasn't for your use, I would definitely teach you a hard lesson. Go down. Jose snorted coldly. Juvia nodded and left. Jose remained silent. Now that the plan didn't work out, it would be too much trouble. Seeing that Macruff was about to come to the top floor, if he didn't continue, I'm afraid the follow-up plan would be very difficult. Damn fairy tale. Jose cursed. At the same time, I also plan to teach the man named Dino a good lesson when fairy tale arrives. Let him know what the price of disrupting the plan is. Dot. Chapter 37, Dino. Lagosas, are you afraid? Five Manolia Hospital. Levy guards his two companions here. Dino walked in. Dino. Levy said hello softly, looking a little haggard too. I know a little healing magic, do you want me to help? Dino said. Levy's eyes brightened, nodding his head, okay, okay. Dino raised his palm, the magic circle appeared and a burst of green light fell on the two of them. Cough cough. It's so uncomfortable. Soon, the two slowly opened their eyes. Levy saws. Immediately, Troy sat up and exclaimed. The same goes for Jed. Stop yelling. Levy is fine. Dino scratched his ears. Levy also nodded. I'm fine, Dino sent me back last night. The two of Jade breathed a sigh of relief. He soon learned what happened from Levy's mouth. Dino quietly withdrew. He needed to recharge and wait for the ghost to strike. It's time to go and fight Jose. Dot. In a treehouse in the deep woods east of Magnolia. Dino walked to the door with dazed eyes. Don't say hello, just push the door and walk in. She looked at Belushiko inside. After waiting for a while, Belushiko looked back. It's incredible that a kid like you would join Fairy Tale. Moment. Belusica withdrew her eyes and continued to concoct Macruff's potion. Miss Belusica, what you're saying is a bit unpleasant. People like me want a place where I can sleep peacefully. Dina joked, stepping forward. He glanced at the unconscious Zelda, who was sitting directly beside the bed. It's long-winded. There is no danger even if the ghosts attack with you. If you have nothing to do, hurry up and leave. The stench of humans is too unpleasant. Poloshika drove away in disgust. Dino smiled and took out a bottle of strange liquid from his body. This thing can cure the old man's life, but I hope Miss Belusica can delay me for a while. Dino said. What? Belusica rudely took back the bottle of strange liquid. Although I don't want to admit it, there are still a lot of good things about this kid named Dino. It's nothing, I want to compete with Jose of Saint Ten. If the president appears, he will snatch my opponent. Dino said. Belusica frowned. The magic in your body is so powerful that you still need to learn from others? Isn't this bullying others? Borusica opened the bottle and sniffed it before she felt relieved. Mom, you can't imagine the feeling of being too strong for someone who can't find an opponent, Dino replied. He is still looking forward to Jose of Saint Ten. As a Dino who is now almost invincible, being able to add a touch of color to his peaceful life can be regarded as an embellishment for himself. Naturally, he will not let go of Jose, a, who has the title of Holy Ten. Long-winded. Let's go after we finish talking. Belusica muttered. Dina turned his mouth and turned away. His lord has a lot of knowledge that is not hers. Dot. In the guild, Kaina sat at the table with cards in front of him. No, I can't count any trace of Mr. Gun at all. After a long time, Kana threw the card angrily and said angrily. Mira Jane also sighed helplessly. Now that the guild leader is out of combat, since the ghost's target is Lucy, they will definitely come back. When Hose A, who is also the Holy Ten Sorcerer, appears, no one of us will beat him, Mira Jane said, turn your eyes to the crystal ball next to you, so Lagosas, hurry back to the guild to help the enemy now, Mira Jane said, inside the crystal ball, Lagosas appearance appeared, with a look of disdain, I have no obligation to help you, and this war itself was provoked by the stinky old man, Lagosas said, Mira Jane looked serious, Lagosas, as a member of the guild, you plan to watch the guild be bullied by others, the ghosts are attacking our partners, how can you say such a thing? Especially Lucy is their target. Lagos has waved his hand. Huh? Partner? I don't think the gangsters in the guild are my partners. Does Lucy have anything to do with me? Unless she is willing to be my woman. Creek Tilda. Just as Mira Jane was about to speak, the door of the guild was pushed open. Dina walked in slowly with a sleepless look on his face. The people in the guild who yawned and swept across the guild also looked at the crystal ball in front of Mira Jane. Yo this isn't Lagos's. He still looks like he's not beaten. Dino said. When he walked to the crystal ball, his eyes were playful. He said. Lagosas, where have you gone? I remember the conflict in the guild a few days ago. Why did you run away? I really want to break your limbs. In the crystal ball, Lagosas' face was gloomy, staring at Dino with wide eyes. Little devil, you are so arrogant just a few years after you came to the guild, who do you think you are? Dino laughed. What are you doing with so much nonsense? You should have been long hated the current fairy tale, then come back and execute your so-called strong guild. I'm waiting for you, boy. Just wait to die. Lagosas was furious. He did have a plan early on, but I didn't expect this kid Dino to be able to see it, and it seemed that it was indeed time to start. Don't talk so much, 
Come back now, Dino scolded, Cacatilda, snapped. Lagosas was angry and thunder appeared directly on his body. Instantly smash the entire crystal ball, cut. There is still a lack of social beatings. Dino is disdainful. Everyone in the guild was speechless. They just felt that Dino was always provoking Lagosas, and everyone would be angry. Don't worry, although the president is not here, I'm still here. Jose is strong but I'm not weak. Dino waved his hand. Everyone in the guild was silent. They know that Dino is very strong, but the opponent is Jose, who is the same as the president. Can it really work? Chapter 38, Smashing Magic Middle Dot Super Middle Dot Nothingness! Exclamation mark 6 Rumbling Tilda. The ground was shaking. The entire fairy tale guild, which had just been repaired, began to tremble. A roar sounded outside. The members of the guild were in a hurry and failed to stand firm. Oh no, sudden. Someone rushed in to tell the situation outside, and everyone was shocked. Outside the guild, all the members came out and looked at the slowly approaching island with frightened eyes. How come, the ghost will actually use this attack method? What the hell is that, a movable island? This ghost is too exaggerated. The whole guild is moving, it's so weird. Dot. One or two guild members stared wide-eyed at the slowly approaching puppet. Every step made the whole ground vibrate. The sea was surging and the waves were raging, and countless people looked at the huge object with sweat on their foreheads. At this time, the top of the entire building shrank slowly and a huge gun barrel stretched out from the inside. In front of the barrel, a black magic cannon is slowly taking shape. It exudes an ominous aura, which makes the members of the guild tremble uncontrollably. Feel the unprecedented terrifying magic from that huge magic cannon. I fear the entire city of Magnolia will be destroyed by this cannon, not to mention the fairy tale guild that bears the brunt. Everyone, get down. Urza rushed forward and gave orders to all the members. And she herself is a body that shines. The hardest King Kong armor appeared on his body. What is Urza doing? Is she wearing the Vajra armor? Could it be that she intends to physically resist this attack? How can she withstand it? Urza, don't. The guild members exclaimed. Urza stood in front of all the members, the armor on her body further set off her tall and sturdy body. I will never let you destroy the guild. Arms fit together. A huge magic circle appeared in front of the whole body, ready to resist this move at any time. The members of the entire guild clenched their fists. They feel powerless. There was nothing to help Urza at this juncture. Hey, why do you have such a bad memory as a woman? At this time, Dino came out of the guild. Step by step through the crowd of guild members, he came to Urza's side with a trace of reproach in his eyes. Dino. Urza looked at him. Dino reached out and touched Urza's hard armor's head. As I said, there is still me when the president is not there. Your task is to get rid of the four elements of ghosts in a while. As for Hose, a eh? Just leave it to me. Dino finished. The body slowly floated up. The breeze swirled around him. The body that seems to be thin, but at this moment, it makes people feel very reliable. Dino you. Urza wanted to say something else. I saw Dino stretched out his hand and a gust of wind whistled Urza in front of the other members of the guild, and he was suspended alone, facing the still charging magic cluster cannon. Jupiter, he watched quietly. You're Dino, right? Break one of Gagiel's arms, defeat Juvia and Sol and are also the powerhouse hidden in the fairy tale guild. Sounds in the castle. The voice of the ghost president Jose came from inside. Know me, it seems that Gagiel's injury is still too light, and Jose, eh, right? I've been waiting for you for a long time. Dino replied. Jose said, this is the end of the chat, let's be wiped out in this cannon. Sasutilda, whoosh! Exclamation mark the huge cannonball was condensed and shot out in an instant. The speed is so fast that the sea is divided and the two sides are annihilated towards Dino with endless power. The huge beam cannonball instantly drowned Dino's body. Dino, Dino. When the people in the guild saw Dino who had disappeared, they also stared at him and shouted heartbreakingly. However, the beam cannonball did not rush over, as if it was fighting against something. Smashing magic super void. Ham tilde. At this time, in the submerged beam, a magic circle larger than three buildings appeared. The two are constantly fighting. That is, could it be? Is it true? that magic and the name just now. He actually, everyone in the guild stared wide-eyed at the magic circle in the air and rubbed their cheeks in shock. What did you just say? Shatter magic? Question mark that is super advanced destruction magic. The power is quite terrifying. Even in the most ordinary state, it is countless times stronger than other magics. Now they actually saw this terrifying magical ability. The strength of this Dino is probably going to go up to another level. Smashing magic, guild arts magic. I didn't expect Dino to have this kind of magic. Urza was also quite shocked. They had always thought that the types of magic that Dino knew were quite common. But now it seems that the abilities that Dino shows are just what they want to show them, and there are probably more terrifying types of magic that have not been shown. It's terrible. I don't know that this kind of magic can shatter that huge attack. Natsu clenched his fists too. The deeper the contact, the more and more I feel the horror of Dino. His strength is always much stronger than they realize and now even this level of magic appears. So does it mean that there is more powerful magic? Chapter 39, Fear, Depression, Despair, Seven Power of Smashing Magic and that huge beam magic are killing each other. Dino didn't pay much attention at first, 
and the reason was naturally because he didn't think the attack was so powerful. But after the two collided, I realized that they were still underestimated. The power of the beam cannonball is amazing, and if you are careless, it will really make a little mark on Dino's body. Pity. When Dino realized that the power was even more amazing than he thought, he also increased the magic output. Soon the two froze. It's not evenly matched, it's just using a small amount of magic to resolve this attack. The stalemate didn't last long. The huge beam cannonball was being shattered, as if it had penetrated into nothingness and slowly disappeared. Dino's figure reappeared. The clothes on his body were not damaged, and the huge beam attack with amazing power failed to cause any damage to him. It's amazing, as expected of a man I like. Kana looked at the clothes in the air rippling in the wind, and Dino, whose figure was slenderly suspended, had little stars in his eyes. Maybe there was a slight estrangement in the relationship after the negative distance contact with Dino, and at this moment, the thin but reliable figure appeared in front of him and disappeared. Yes, Dino's killing intent is indeed very heavy. Every day is also lazy to move, sleep in the guild every day, the snoring sound is still a bit loud. However, there is danger in the guild. She is definitely the most reliable arm when her own woman has life safety problems. That terrifying attack could also be diffused so lightly. Maybe that's the charm of Dino. Dino is really super powerful, even as strong as the president. That beam cannon will definitely destroy Magnolia and he will also destroy it. Urza's mind is heavy. She has always been protecting or guarding the members of the guild, but she never thought that someone would stand in front of her to help her resist that powerful attack. The originally tenacious heart was also somewhat turbulent. Maybe that's the charm of Dino. The rest of the guild stood there quietly, looking at Dino in the air with admiration. His figure was very small in front of the beam cannon, but it was such a small body that blocked the attack that would destroy the guild. They all admired it from the bottom of their hearts. Air. Dino lifted his hands up and stretched. The lazy and free gazes in his eyes gathered, more or less bright. Looking at the huge guild station, he evoked a playful smile and asked, Jose, aren't you going to come out and play with me? Silence. Inside the residence of the Phantom Lord Guild, Jose's face was gloomy. Listening to Dino's arrogant voice outside, he didn't say anything. But the guild members here understand that President Jose is angry. Hey, Dino kid, what qualifications do you have to fight me? Can you block the magic beam cannon once? and the second time. It only takes 15 minutes. I hope you can hand over Lucy Hartfilia as soon as possible, otherwise, let's go. A shot is more powerful, Jose said. The members of the guild on the ground were all upset. Lucy is a little helpless. If it's all because of her, then she is willing to take the initiative to come out. Impossible. We will never give up our companions. No matter who you are, you are incapable of making us give up our companions. Lucy is a member of the fairy tale guild. We won't give up even if we die. Have the ability to fight to the death. Right. Dot. All the members of the guild roared at a huge island. Make an unwilling oath, everyone. Lucy had tears in her eyes. She did not expect that everyone in the guild would even be willing to make such a decision for her. Urza also changed his armor back. Crush my body if you want to take Lucy. Urza yelled. The members of countless guilds resonated in the air. Dino also squinted his eyes with a hint of sarcasm. Jose, do you think no one can stop you after we are seriously injured? The hands of the daping spread their wings apart. The strong wind blew the hem of the clothes, and this moment was even more domineering. Do you think your guild's four elements and Gajil can stop my attack? Fifteen minutes? Oh, I'll kill them in one minute. The voice fell. Demonic release within the body, like a giant dragon waking up from a deep sleep. The domineering magical power of the ages broke through the sky. Several white clouds in the sky were also broken. The ground directly below Dino and the sea water spread all around, although in the air. But the ground has also been cracked open by cracks, spreading all around. That kind of death-like coercion made everyone in the guild get goosebumps all over. The magic power in the body is more deeply hidden like seeing a terrifying existence, and no matter how they are mobilized, it cannot be driven. Cold sweat, fear, depression, death-like breath. These negative states all appear on the guild members below. One by one, they clenched their fists to resist. Some ordinary members of the guild had to sit on the ground unbearably. Only the powerful people like Erza could stand it. But despite this, they were still shocked by this powerful momentum and could not exert their full strength. Dino's strength is too terrifying. He has never seen such a huge magic power. Terror. My whole body feels the fear of death. Is this what it feels like to be near death? Powerful. Too powerful. Dino's strength is even more than a few blocks long. Horrible. The people in the guild gritted their teeth in horror, their eyes fixed on the air. Chapter 40. Good. So sad. Ache knowing that Dino couldn't possibly hurt them. But at this moment, he didn't dare to raise any resistance at all. Maybe a person's powerful performance is like this. Obviously it is just an ordinary mobilization of a magic power in the body but it can still make them feel the coldness of death. Inside the residence of the Phantom Lord Guild, those ordinary people who control the magic cluster cannon feel the same fear even though they are far away from where Dino is. Horrible. How can it be so scary? This seemingly transparent guy is actually so powerful. That body of magic is too powerful. If you feel it carefully, 
It doesn't seem to be weaker than their president Jose. How could there be such a powerful guy? The president of the tenth title is not as good as this kid. How can there be such a terrifying, powerful person in this world? And he looks very young. This should not exist at all. Jose was equally shocked. He always thought that only Makarov was strong enough in the fairies guild. Then there is this guy. After thinking about it, he felt that he might be able to use the move against that guy Makarov again. What a terrifying young man. But do you think that strong magic power means strong power? In my opinion, as long as the four elements in my guild join forces to destroy you, there is something for you to come over. Jose provoked. He decided to let Dino carelessly take the initiative to face the four elements. At that time, the three elements can be completely matched with a depleted magic power in Arya's wind magic, and then this guy can be completely killed again. Ha a joke. Dino instantly understood Jose's purpose. It must be said that the magic of Arya, the first of the four elements, is very powerful. Once hit, no matter how powerful an enemy is, he will instantly drain his magic power, and Makarov is seriously injured by this move. But a pity. This so-called move was of no use to him at all, because he knows so many kinds of magic, even Arya's magic. It was used on Leon before the drop of the moon, so he's totally unworthy of that move. It's funny here too. In that case, I hope your four elements can make me have fun, Dino said. The body slowly floated towards the huge castle. Dino. Erza stopped him. Dino turned his head and looked over with a look of embarrassment. I'm sorry Erza, it looks like the opponent who was prepared for you is going to be killed by me again. Erza took a deep breath, he couldn't help but said, it's better not to kill if you can and there are some ghosts who are not pure villains. Dino's eyelids are droopy. Hank Xiao scratched his head, eh hey, yeah, I'll try my best, provided they can withstand my attack, it's not my fault if they miss and kill me. After he finished speaking, he rushed towards the castle. Erza looked back at Natsu and Grey. You two should follow along too. Although Dino is very powerful, there are still quite a few people in the ghost guild. Your mission is to clear those soldiers, and let Dino come with the main force. Remember, if you encounter Hose A, eh? Run away immediately, apostrophe Urza ordered. Both looked reluctant. Damn it, Dino left me two great guys. Natsu shouted. Happy immediately flew over to grab Natsu and followed Dino. Grey also grabbed his head and stretched out his hand to take off his clothes and landed directly on the sea surface, and the sea water under his feet began to freeze. Urza watched as the rest of them walked towards Lucy. Don't let Lucy out of sight or else you'll get caught too. Trouble, if that's the case, don't let me idle. Jose's voice sounded again. I saw dark soldiers flying out from the huge castle all with scythes in their hands, rushing towards everyone on the ground, all fighting, delaying time to give Dino them. Erzu immediately stretched out his hand, grabbed the weapon, rushed forward and started to fight the dark ghost soldier, the barrel of the magic cluster cannon. Natsu hit the barrel with a flaming fist. Dino looked disgusted, don't fight, this big guy is not a bad guy who can fight for a while, it's better to defeat the enemy if you have time. Dino, give me some enemies. Natsu shouted reluctantly, continued to shoot the barrel. The corners of Dino's mouth twitched. After thinking about it, he waved his hand directly, okay, Gajil will be handed over to you, and the others will be handed over to me. Gajil, Natsu was stunned, then started to move. I'm on fire, Happy, let's go. AI, Natsu also walked inside with Happy along the barrel. Dino followed suit. He was also thinking about where the four elements would block him. Go all the way up. Just as he was about to reach the trop and meet Hose, A, he also saw that several people from the four elements were waiting for him here. Aria of the sky, Sol of the earth, Juvia of the sea. Totemaru of the fire. The four elements stand in front of each other next to each other. Juvia doesn't want to fight with Lord Dino. He is the one who redeemed Juvia. Juvia spoke first. Lianxia said with a blush that was very cute. Okay. So sad. The great wizard who is no weaker than the president is about to fall here. Hutilda Hutilda. Arya burst into tears when she disagreed. The white cloth on the eyes is soaked. Cut. Arya, take off your dog's blindfold or you really won't have a chance to resist. Dino scorned. His eyes fell on Juvia. Listening to Juvia's words, it seems that he really does not want to fight him. But, what's the matter with the submissive feeling? Shouldn't it be influenced by Grey? Why so suddenly? Suddenly Dino looked a little weird. I feel a little sorry for Grey if I'm digging a corner. Hey hey hey. It didn't take long for Dino to laugh badly. Lord Dino's laughter is very changeable and awkward, and Juvia feels malicious from it. Juvia added. Dino put away his smile. Hey, there's no way. It's impossible for people to be too good. Dino muttered emotionally. Chapter 41, Break It. Nine before, Arya also reached out and undid the white strips from her eyes. Since you said so, then I will deal with you with the strongest attitude. With the strips unraveled, the magic power in Arya was also released. But in terms of the total amount of magic power, it is indeed much more than the three Juvia and the others combined. Dino looked at his eyes recklessly with interest, too. The round eyeball was divided into four petals of the same size. For a time, the powerful magic power was vented. The surrounding dust was blown, and the wind whistled, blowing Dino also squinted to see. Really great. Dino has to admit that Arya's magic power is amazing, 
and the ability to deplete magic power is really above level existence once the opportunity is seized. Fortunately, he is not strong enough that Dino is helpless. Maybe it was because of Dino's previous magic power, that Arya's magic power was somewhat disdainful. After Arya's magic power was released, the other three elementalists by her side retreated to the side to distance themselves. Non 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 Arya's magic is as amazing as ever. Dengden and Arya deserves to be the first of the four elements, and this strength is enough to win my totem Arya's respect. Juvia is worried about Lord Dino. The other three elements speak. Dino moved his neck slightly and rushed forward on the ground. Airspace absolute. Arya's hands were bent and the palms were aimed at Dino, like a turtle style Kaigong move. Powerful wind magic popped out of his hands. Peng hit Dino's body and Dino's body paused a little, but it was of no use, is that so, if it's just such a simple move, I think you should give up your struggle as soon as possible, you are not my opponent at all, Dino said, a golden magic circle appeared in the right hand, the next second, a bright light flashed, and a long knife appeared in his hand, the knife is 1 meter 5 in length, and the blade is blood red with an indistinct demon pattern, there is also a bright light across the front, wielding a long knife and swiping towards Arya, it's useless, blue flames, Totemaru, as one of the four elements, naturally does not sit still, a blue and frozen flame appeared in his hand and attacked Dino from the side, the other side, Sol of the Earth also attacked, preventing Dino from fighting Arya alone, they are very self-aware, and know that they are not to mention their four elements in a head-on confrontation, and even if they are gauge you, they are not Dino's opponents at all, therefore, it is also aimed at harassing Dino with a clear purpose, and be prepared to contain it when necessary, it is convenient for Arya to cast the magic of draining magic again, Juvia doesn't want to discuss with Lord Dino, but the president will definitely look over here, Juvia still wants to live, and Lord Dino is offended, Juvia said, this side also dodged and came behind Dino, controlling the water flow to hit him slowly, without any moves at all, the water flow is simply a simple water flow, even if it hits him, it doesn't have any effect, come on, Dino responded with a smile, the long knife here cuts through the wind magic gathered in Arya's palm, in the next second, the long knife disappeared, the right hand turned into a fist, and the left hand turned into a palm, smash magic, wind magic, magic of two different attributes bloomed, shattering magic directly shatters totem Arya's flames into nothingness, several wind blades of wind magic smashed all the stones summoned by soul, the body swayed slightly, with both hands, they grabbed the two directly in the palm of their hand, holding their necks, a cruel smile of murder appeared on his face, smash magic, on, next second, a magic circle appeared behind Sol of the Earth, in an instant, his body was like a fragile piece of paper torn apart, less than a second, his body was directly shattered and disappeared, that's it, Sol of the Earth, one of the four elements, annihilates his life, Totemaru on the other hand was a little slower, but a magic circle appeared behind him in time, at this time, Arya reacted immediately, a move airspace to hit Dino's arm, seeing this, Dino is not good to continue to kill him, he lifted his foot and kicked it hard, rumbling tilde, that Totemaru's body hit the wall, smashing the wall and falling into a coma, Dino turned around and grabbed it, immediately grabbed Juvia's right shoulder, couldn't help but look over, Juvia was blushing and shy when she saw Dino who was so close to him, Sir Dino Juvia said shyly, cough cough Dino quickly let go and pushed her out, pushing her out, Juvia was taken a few steps back and was knocked down by a stone under her feet and squatted on the ground, but those eyes and red fluttering are still hanging on it, impressively, he was also overwhelmed by what happened just now, Dino was embarrassed, don't come here, woman, what should I do if I hurt you, my fists and feet have no eyes, Dino complained, however, these words turned into another speech in Juvia's ears, the remarks were you beautiful woman, don't rely on me too tightly, I will also feel bad for hurting you, apostrophe dong 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 tilde, at this moment, Juvia's heart couldn't stop beating, a sudden blush spread all over the body, hot air came out of his forehead, he fell directly behind his body, and he fainted without knowing how to drip, speechless, seeing Juvia who fainted, Dina was speechless, this woman is really weird, chapter 42, holy 10 Jose appears, the big geese are asking for a wave of flowers, the data is too bad, after dealing with Juvia and the other three, he turned his attention to Arya, as expected of the only strong leader of the president, I couldn't help crying when I thought that your life was about to disappear, who, Arya burst into tears again, hey, it is rumored that your magic can take time out of a person's magic, I don't know if you have felt it, Dino looked at him, the magic within the body began to surge, wind magic blows towards Arya, sure enough, both are wind magic, so let's see who is the strongest, Arya said, the steady stream of magic power reappeared in his body, always be ready to attack, although you are good, but unfortunately I don't want to play with you anymore, so let's end it, Dino said, sudden, Arya instantly felt that the clothes on her body were a little weird, he found that his clothes were beginning to twist, and he quickly controlled all his limbs, what's this, Arya was startled, and tried to unravel the situation in front of her with a powerful manipulation of magic, but, the clothes on his body became tighter and tighter as he struggled, 
which soon made him unable to breathe smoothly. This situation makes it impossible to fight Dino anymore. Sasutilda. At this time, Dino's figure vanished into a breeze in front of him. When it reappeared, it was already in the air behind Arya, and like Arya's magic, it showed the eight with both hands floating on his head. Feel your own magic, Dino said. Not good. Arya was startled. As someone who possesses this kind of magic, he naturally knows how powerful the magic is. The lightest one is seriously injured and coma, and the serious one will die on the spot. You must know that magic is the origin of a person, and once it disappears, it is no different from losing life. It's going to die. No no no, Arya yelled trying to break free. However it was of no use. Wind magic airspace extermination. Buzz Tilda, stop. At this moment, the castle was trembling. The ceiling above his head was constantly shaken down by countless dust. Crack the gap and soon open a big hole. Jose's gloomy face leaked out and descended toward this floor. Late, Dino said. In an instant, the magic power in Arya's body was pumped out. He himself was paralyzed and fainted on the ground with his mouth wide open. It's not dead yet, so I'll make up for it, Dino said. A mass of wind blades hit Arya's body. Little devil. Didn't you hear me? Kakatilda, Kakatilda. The entire ground trembled constantly, and gaps appeared on the ground and walls. Jose was already angry. The magic power poured out of his body. The powerful Weir also made Dino even more excited. Right. It is this powerful force. It is simply too wonderful to make people feel really awesome. Dino felt the magic within him stir, and his desire to fight became more and more intense. This moment, puffs of black smoke appeared around, covering this layer together. Jose's figure is even more bizarre. Dino squinted to feel the breath around him. Cold feeling. It was a breath of death. If you were a person here, 80% of the time you would be scared to wet your pants. Ghost arrow. Jose didn't talk nonsense, just raised his hand and a black magic circle appeared, looking at the arrow feathers and shot towards Dino. Wish wish tilde. Dino stood there and watched the arrow feathers swaying slightly. The shaking that didn't look amazing actually neutralized all those attacks. Boom boom. The arrow feathers hit the ground behind him, blasting deep hits one by one, and that seemingly inoffensive move can bring huge damage. This is also great. It's really good, and being able to see through my attacks is a great departure. Jose said, at this time, boom, with a loud noise, a big hole was instantly pressed under Dino's standing feet, and the big hole was spreading around, the magic power in his own body appeared continuously, acting on the ground and wall buildings on this floor, rumbling tilde, the ground shattered and was crushed into stones by magic, press the surrounding to death, Jose on the opposite side could also clearly feel the horror of a kid in front of him, dark shot, the dark circles of light on the fingertips were shot like bullets towards Dino's vitals, the target of these bullets is very clear, the head, limbs, and chest are attacked in several important places, and this move cannot be avoided no matter how much you avoid it, and Dino was silent, those attacks were about to hit his body, and they stopped suddenly when they were not far from his body, despair, Jose attacked again, without any pause at all, he noticed that the magic power in Dino's body was still emerging continuously, and this powerful magic power fluctuation had faint signs of pressing him down, and he had to be killed in advance, boom boom tilde, the move went out, and the dark red explosion wave exploded under Dino's feet. The rumbling sound was heard by everyone in the entire guild. Outside, the Fairies Park members are also fighting desperately against the ghost soldiers flying around in the sky. The whole castle is shaking. Could it be that Jose and Dino are already fighting? Who knows, if it's true, then Dino is really powerful. It feels bigger than the movement made by the president when we went to the ghost kicking hall. Come on everyone, don't let Dino worry about us. Dot. The battle between Dino and Jose also made many people in the outside world excited. Countless people bloomed with more powerful strength and began to counterattack, suppressing those ghost soldiers. Chapter 43, Dino's True Strength Thanks to for a monthly pass, battle scene. After Dino released a small amount of magic power in his body, he also rushed over. The simple physical technique has been much faster, and the speed has been beaten with super attack power. In the blink of an eyelid, Dino was already in front of Jose. Right fists clenched together and an uppercut hits Jose's jaw. Peng. Jose didn't fight back. Abruptly endured such a hit. It really hurts, kid. Your strength is really strong. Jose stood up from the ground and patted his clothes lightly, and looked at Dino with unabashed admiration in his eyes. Interested in joining Phantom Lord? Fairy tale is not for you at all, Jose asked. All that answered him was that Dino rushed over again, hit the ground, one foot and one big pit drove the stones and came to Jose's back with lightning speed. Smash magic. A magic circle appeared in front of both fists. He uses smashing magic, which will definitely disintegrate or shatter once it hits a person's body. Anyone who is weaker than him cannot avoid it. Swoosh tilde. However, both fists are empty. That Jose used teleportation to disappear in front of his eyes, pulling the distance from each other. What a horrible kid. I wouldn't dare to be touched by you at all. Jose said. I was relieved after seeing the magic circle on Dino's fist disappear. Just now he felt death. Strong intuition told him that once he touched that fist, he would be instantly killed. 
so he used his ability to leave the place directly. Hardino sneered. Immediately, Jose looked in horror at Dino who disappeared. The breath of death came from behind again. Jose immediately used teleportation to leave again, looking at Dino with a dark face in shock. This little devil can even move instantly. Really scary guy. Not only the magic is amazing. Powerful. I know a lot of magic too. This kid is really a child. Why does he feel more terrifying than the guy with the holy ten honor? Don't talk about yourself, as far as he felt. It was an insult to call this kid a holy ten. How could such a strong man stay in the fairy tale guild? Should not be. Jose fled again. This time, Dino didn't catch up, but put his fists away and looked at Jose. It's really easy for me to kill you, honestly, Dino said. Jose's face was very bad. However, what I like is the process of fighting with a strong. Your strength is not bad, but you still can't reach my point, so I don't want to fight with you. Dino shook his head. Finally, he stared at Jose with a very serious look. Little devil. You really think you can beat me? Jose stared. A more powerful force was released from his body. The entire castle trembled, and the walls and buildings were cracked with cracks. In a crash, the entire castle is collapsing, and the consequences of this power can be imagined. Power is constantly being released. This is the pinnacle of strength of the Holy Ten Sorcerers. Before Jose was just moving his muscles and bones, but now he is a liberating force. It's amazing. With a smile on his face, Dina felt the ground, the walls the concrete bricks all falling. The whole place was a mess. A large number of walls were unable to withstand such a magical impact and began to collapse. Even the air was unusually depressing. The terrifying magic fluctuations caused the seawater below the island where the entire guild was stationed to surge in all directions. But since I dare to come here, I naturally have enough power to suppress you. Dino smiled. The magic within his body also began to work. The whole body began to emit light. It was a pure golden light in stark contrast to the pure dark magic of Jose. Light magic? Jose exclaimed in disbelief. He didn't expect that other than Makarov, someone else could use light magic, and it looked very powerful. I can't believe that someone as powerful as you would stay in Makarov's guild. Jose replied gloomily. He felt uncomfortable all over his body. It may be because he uses dark magic and is destined to be the mortal enemy of light magic. Come on, Jose Paula, get me excited. Rumbling Tilda. The ground trembled and countless stone walls were shattered by the magic that Dino radiated at this moment. The atmosphere is brewing thunder. The sea set off waves and swept toward the city land. The city of Magnolia trembled. The members of the guild who were still fighting on the shore were hurriedly standing unsteadily. They stabilized their figures and looked at the huge guild building standing in the ocean, feeling the breath of the air. Everyone was amazed. This is depressed. I feel a very depressing breath. What is the matter with this suffocating magic? Is it because Dino can't do it? I feel that the whole air is constantly shaking, and the trees and flowers are surrendering. It's terrible. Is this the true strength of Dino? Dot. All the members of the guild felt depressed. That kind of body and cells have a tendency to surrender, and this strength is simply beyond imagination. Chapter 44 Except the fairy law. Toy inside the castle. The fight between Natsu and Gajil was also forced to stop at this moment. Stones kept falling from the ceiling above their heads, and the two hurried to dodge. This momentum. Does that guy have such a powerful magic power? Gajiel looked unhappy. He always thought that the Dino kid was powerful, but it was not enough to compete with the president. Now it seems that he still underestimates that guy. Compared with the current traces of magic power fluctuations, it is good luck that he was not killed last time. It's Dino he's really amazing. Natsu exclaimed. He could also feel the depression in the surrounding air, and even his heart was pounding. But he was still not afraid but even more excited. How stupid you are. How terrifying this kid is, you didn't know it until now, Gajiel complained. He felt a deep despair, that Dino's power is beyond his imagination, is it really possible for their ghosts to win this battle? So, Gajiel, let's start too, Natsu said, his fists burst into flames and he fought Gajiel again. Dot. Three house in the deep woods to the east. Borusika stood outside feeling the magic of the air seed and was also worried. I don't know if it's good or bad for such a powerful kid to appear, Borusika said. Creek Tilda. In the back room. Makarov dragged his tired body out. Dino, he also felt the pure light magic before he woke up. Very powerful kid, this magic power is no longer weak for you, Makarov, Belusica said. Makarov walked towards the city. Although that kid Dino is serious about killing, I'm not old enough to need my own child to protect me, he said and left. Slap Tilda. Belusica threw the tool in her hand directly to the ground. That's why I hate human beings, and I will fight and kill all day to create sadness. Belusica roared angrily. Dot battle scene. Light magic and dark magic are intertwined, and the magic power fluctuations of the two people are brewing. In the sky where they are, the black fog swept through, and the entire scene was shrouded in dark clouds. Lightning flashes. The atmosphere is timid. Come on, let me feel your weak strength. Dino said, aiming at Jose with the palm of the hand. A golden magic circle appeared, and a lot of lights printed. Swept toward Jose. Don't be arrogant kid. Jose also uses dark magic. The moves of the two people were entangled throughout the scene 
hitting one wall and causing more serious damage. The fight against each other was great. Dino also had a great time playing, and started thinking about what abilities to use to kill Jose. Buzz Tilda. Just at this time, a burst of light bloomed, and the moves released by the dark magic in Jose's hands were dissolved. Dino also stopped at the same time. Did that Pelusica still not stop the president turning his head to look at Makarov, who had landed from the sky? He also wanted to complain. Shouldn't he be the one to do it when he's acting like this? Dino, you did a great job. Leave it to me next. Makarov said. The look in Dino's eyes was also quite relieved. There is such a powerful magic, and it is also considered a talent for light magic. Look at Jose again. It was found that he, who was also the Holy Ten, didn't look very good. The clothes were tattered. The chin is still a little scratched, and the spirit looks a little tired. Is this all caused by Dino? It seems to be able to do better than expected. After listening to the president's words. Dino was also speechless. After finally finding an enemy who could fight him, he was going to be robbed now. After thinking about it, forget it. Killing Jose in front of the president doesn't seem like a good idea either. And after all, it is the Holy Ten, so killing it on the spot will also bring trouble to the guild. If so, leave it to the chairman. Anyway, the current Jose doesn't have much fighting power, and if he continues to fight, he will kill him. All right. Spreading his hands and shrugging Dino turned around to find a stone and sat down. His eyes returned to a listless state and began to doze off. On sight, Makarov and Jose were both speechless. How could he still be able to sleep at this time? Dino, today I will teach you the strongest super magic in our fairy tale guild. Use it well in the future. Makarov said. Dino also raised his head after hearing this. Could it be the law of fairies? Unfortunately, Dino itself will. After thinking about it, I decided not to say it. Give the president a little face and pretend not to. Please start your show. Dino nodded nicely, but this remark felt a bit mocking in Makarov's ears. After thinking about it, I still didn't take care of it. My hands were separated from each other up and down, and a small light spot appeared in the middle. Jose, a, accept our fairy tale sanctions, Makarov said. The magic in Jose's body surged again. Makarov, don't be arrogant. I really think you can't beat me. Jose was also furious. I felt uncomfortable being pressed and beaten by Dino before, and now I have to be taught by Makarov so naturally I will not be caught. A large amount of darkness gathers in the palm. Death storm. Fairy law. Activate. Both powerful moves were used immediately. The scene was shrouded in light. Dino also closed his eyes directly. The shocking collision made the whole earth tremble again. Countless people were attracted again by the collision of this energy. Light blooms. A golden magic circle also appeared in the sky. The dazzling light made all the members of the guild unable to resist. All enemies regarded as darkness were wiped out. In the sky. The dark clouds dissipated everything and returned to calm. On sight, Jose trembled and his hair was grey. It got older all of a sudden. The battle is over. Chapter 45, Vacation. Three Dino opened his eyes and glanced at Jose. Follow the president's side and slowly walk outside. On the building outside, we won. President is amazing. As expected of you. Hey, Dino is so strong. Good job. The members of the guild cheered. The president also put on a smile, raised his arm, raised his index finger and thumb up to the sky. The fairies guild. The war is over. Oh, oh. Everyone leaked a smile. All the guild members raised their hands to aim at the sky. Countless people are so happy. Dino also yawned and started dozing off, and the happy atmosphere really wasn't very friendly to him. Dino, at this time, Anan also flew up from below, and the small white body fell into Dino's arms in a white dress. Yo Anan is so cute today. Dino smiled. Did Anan not look good yesterday? Anan asked with watery eyes. Dino was speechless. Why is this so familiar? And how could Anan say that? Dot. Jilled resident sight. Makarov sighed when he looked at the station, which had not collapsed, but it was about the same. Put down and rebuild, Makarov said. The guild members also quickly began to dismantle the guild. A large amount of wood and building materials were transported to the site, and houses began to be built within the guild. Dino was snoring and walking with a small log on his back. Dino, seriously. Urza said too. Dino opened his confused eyes, yawned and waved. Okay, okay. After that, go to sleep. Urza's face was speechless. Considering the previous battle he faced Jose alone and had to turn a blind eye, the guild was built very quickly. After all, they are all a group of magicians, and it is very convenient to use magic. Everyone is proceeding in an orderly manner. Huh? Dino isn't here? Lucy isn't here either? At this time, Urza also noticed that Dino didn't seem to be there and asked. The others shook their heads and said they hadn't seen Dino and Lucy. And this moment, Dino was lying on a green grass, looking at the green grass blown by the wind, and then fell asleep peacefully on his body. Sure enough. It's good to have money in this world, but unfortunately our fate is not very good. We can only be a little guy who hangs the world, Dino muttered. After all, Lucy is about to leave her house, right? Yawned and hugged and then got up. When I looked over, I saw that Lucy had just come out. Huh? Brother Dino? Lucy was surprised. Come up and say hello, Lucy. Anan also woke up and rushed over here and threw herself into Lucy's arms. Anan, you are so cute. Lucy smiled. Anan nodded, 
Dino and I are here to pick you up. Okay, Lucy hesitated for a moment then nodded. The group walked towards the way back. Dot. Within the guild, since the guild hasn't been built yet, whether it's taking tasks or drinking and resting, it's all done in the open space next to it. Several days have passed since the attack of the Phantom Lord. The weather is also getting hotter. Resting in the big sun this season is also torture. Dino. Do you want to go on vacation together? At this time, Erdo and Lucy also stepped forward to ask Dino. Vacation? Where to go? Dino wondered. Lucy said, Arcane Holiday Paradise. It is said to be the most famous seaside resort in the kingdom. I wanted to go there for a long time. Dino nodded after a little thought. Okay. I don't know who will be there this time, Dino asked. Uh, as I thought, it's just me and Lucy right now, and Natsu and Grey, if you have a recommendation, we can go together. It's okay, it's pretty boring anyway, Dino said. It doesn't matter who you choose to go, it doesn't matter to him anyway. Well, just a few of us, Urz replied. Dino nodded and got down again. After lying down and reawakening not long after, Dino rubbed his chin and thought. Arcane Holiday Paradise. Tower of Heaven? In an instant Dino thought of this place. His eyes stayed on Urza and Lucy who had gone away for a moment, and then he looked back. I didn't expect to meet Jell with such good luck. Then you can only blame your bad luck, Dino said. Cheering up, he also stood up from his position, stretched his waist and planned to go back to prepare the luggage for the Holiday Paradise of Arcane. When I went back, I also saw Kana resting at home. Since the last incident, Kana has basically come and stayed for three days and two days. I didn't have a mission and didn't drink alcohol today. Rest at home. Come back? He greeted with a smile when he saw Dino coming back. Dino nodded. And then also flew over to eat snacks in a row. I'm going on a trip these two days. I'm going on vacation in Arcane. Are you going? Dino asked. Kana shook her head. Forget it. Don't want to move. Just have fun. That's fine. You can rest at home. Dino nodded. It didn't really matter to that. Packing up here is also preparing some other good things for Anan. After preparing things, take Anan and leave. Then let me see how good you are, Jell. Dino laughed. Dot. Chapter 46. Deposit your life first. Thank you for the 100 reward from the Dance of the Sea Boss. Arcane Holiday Paradise. It is the most popular seaside tourist spot in the kingdom. The scorching sun, the beach, the sunbathing. All these are the most unforgettable entertainment. In the ocean, Dina floats on the sea in a swimsuit. Q -u -q -u tilde. No matter where he goes, there is no way to stop him from sleeping. Master Dino. At this time, someone called him from the side. Dino opened his eyes and looked to the side, and found that Juvia was also looking at her in cool clothes, with a red face. Ha! Huh. Juvia why are you here? Dina was curious, with a hesitant look on Juvia's face. She finally said, Juvia wants to go on vacation with Lord Dino. Ah! Uh, Dino mused, nodding his head. He still agreed. Yes, Juvia was instantly very happy, and the body relaxed and floated next to the two people floating on the sea. Ashore, Urza and others are also having fun. Anon was also laughing and having fun with Urza's shoulders, while Natsu Grey and Lucy were chatting and playing with the sand. Dino floated on the sea without resistance and let the waves blow over his body. Just floating like that. Pat Tilda. I don't know how long ago, Dino felt that he had left the sea and came to land. Waking up from a deep sleep. He also looked at the building in front of him. Ah this, Dino scratched his head, looking at the tower-shaped island in front of him. He was also a little speechless, so he said he didn't know what was going on and came here. Look to the top. A fruit-like thing stands at the top, which should be the center of the Tower of Heaven. Although it feels inexplicable, it doesn't matter if you think about it, Dino said. He also explored the Tower of Heaven with his hands behind his back. He decided to take a good look around to see if he could kill Jell first. But if he could, it would be the best. What? Dino stopped again after just two steps. Looking at the sea, a ship is slowly moving in the distance. The purpose is this Tower of Heaven. Uh, uh, Dino was not quite sure after thinking. But that's okay. He just had to get on the boat and see who it was. Saying that, Dino's body levitated and flew towards the side of the ship. The speed is not very fast, but it didn't take long to come to the top of the hull. Below, inside the cabin, Aza wakes up from a stupor, feeling the sway of the hull and the ropes on my body also understand that my situation is not very good. Dino Dino where are you? At this time, Anan, who was also trapped next to him, was sleeping in a coma, calling out to Dino in a dream. Aza said softly, Anan wake up Anan. Anan over there also opened her eyes in time, but when she tried to stand up, she found that there was a fluffy rope trapping her making her magic power unable to use. Wow Dina where are you? Anon burst into tears. Urza looked very distressed, and quickly said to comfort. Anon is fine, Dina will be fine, don't cry, darling. Anon stopped crying and looked at Urza. She was also found to be tied up at the same time. Immediately, tears of grievance spread in the eye sockets, and with a small mouth curled up, she would cry again at any time. Don't make a noise, you little cat will kill you if you make more noise. At this time, a man walked in from the outside with yellow hair and brown skin. Xu where is this? Urza asked. Xu replied, this is my sister on the boat, we are heading to Tower of Heaven. Urza replied, really? Can you let Anan go? She is still young, 
and it doesn't matter if you let her go. Dino loves her very much. Xu shook his head. I'm sorry, big sister. In order to prevent you from escaping, no matter who you are, you can't let go. After all, big sister, you are the one who betrayed Tower of Heaven. So, rumbling Tilda, before the words were finished, the howl shook violently, and a creaking sound sounded. What happened? Xu immediately turned around and walked out. Now, Dino dropped his hands on the head of the boat and looked at the three guys who fell to the ground. The tone was very cold, I heard Anand's cry just now, and now I will give you a way to die. Just now, Dino had planned to go to the island with the boat, but I didn't expect to hear bursts of crying, and after listening carefully, I found out that it was Anand's voice. He also rushed down immediately knocking down these three guys in an instant. Simon, Wally, Miliana, what's going on? Xu rushed out of the cabin and immediately exclaimed when he saw the three people who were half dead. At the same time, he also saw Dino standing on the bow, very vigilant. Xu, be careful, this guy is super strong. Simon struggled to move his body. Xu immediately took out a few cards and threw them at Dino without saying a word. Are you provoking me? Dino swept over him. A magic circle appeared in front of him and smashed those cards. He got off the bow and approached Xu step by step. Don't come any closer or I'll be rude. Xu scolded. Then Dino's eyes suddenly narrowed. With a grasp of his right hand, a sharp sword with a wide handle appeared. Without waiting for Xu's reaction, it disappeared before his eyes. When he appeared again, Dino had also come to the entrance of the cabin. There was a drop of blood on the tip of the sharp sword in his right hand. Puff Tilda. Xu's body spurted out a large amount of blood in an instant, and his body collapsed in an instant. Build. Simon yells, seeing Xu, who fell to the ground with his eyes open and mouth open, but couldn't say anything was extremely painful. The lives of the three of you will be deposited first, and I will kill you later, Dino said. Put away the sword and walked towards the interior of the cabin. Chapter 47, Betting on the Name Urza Scarlet. Five inside the cabin, Dino walked in and saw Urza and Anan who were trapped. Dino, who? Dino, you are here. Urza and Anan both called quickly. Dino nodded and untied the ropes from Anan and Urza. The next second, Anan threw herself into Dino's arms. Did you just create the shaking? Urza said, pulling his hands. He put on his usual armor again. Dino nodded. Touching Anand's head also soothed her mood, making sure that he didn't have any wounds before he restrained his killing intent. Urza goes out. He immediately found Xu who was bleeding profusely, his pupils contracted, and he was immediately rescued and CPR. Cough cough. Luckily Dino wasn't slashed mortally. Otherwise, this time, if he can't say it, he will really die, and Urza is relieved when he hastily bandaged him. After checking the situation of several other people, the tightly hanging heart relaxed. Anand. How do you want them to die? Dino walked out with Anan and watched the cold voices of the four people on the boat. Urza watched him open his mouth, still did not speak. This matter itself is their fault, not to mention kidnapping myself, but also kidnapping Anan, which is also self-defeating. You must know that Dino is very kind to Anan. Now I just hope that Anan can show mercy. Dino, let's not kill people, okay? Anan's little paws grabbed Dino's hair and spoke in the glutinous voice. Good. Dino thought for a while and nodded. Since Anan said so, then let them go. Thank you Dino. They used to be my buddies, I couldn't watch them die in front of me, Urza said. Dino shook his head, Urza, your kindness is not a good thing. Do you know who is in the Tower of Heaven in front of you? What is his purpose? What kind of results will you encounter? Have you considered all this? Apostrophe Dino asked. Urza also watched Tower of Heaven not far away and a lot of bad memories came to mind. Jell. Urza looked distressed. I can also guess who is in Tower of Heaven now. Through her understanding of Jell, I am afraid that it is not good to return to this former Tower of Heaven. Xu, what exactly is Jell's purpose? Urza looked at Xu who was brought down and asked directly. The latter also shook his head, I don't know, our mission is to bring Sister Urza back, and the rest is not very clear. Urza was also silent after hearing his answer. She felt that Xu shouldn't lie to her, so what was Jell's purpose? Really don't know? Dino turned his eyes to the guy named Xu. Dino. Do you know Jell's purpose, or do you know Jell? Urza wondered. It stands to reason that Dino is not the person who came out of Tower of Heaven back then. Shouldn't know about this kind of thing, don't even think Jell is right, and know Jell's purpose in this case. Tower of Heaven, also known as the R system is a magic that sacrifices a large number of living sacrifices to revive the dead. It is a kind of forbidden magic, and the purpose of Jell is to revive someone through the R system. Dino didn't continue. It doesn't make sense to say it all. Besides, he also really wanted to see if the so-called R system was really that powerful. Jell will use this R system to revive the legendary one, and at that time will lead us to subvert the world again and become the ruler of this world completely, so that those who once took our freedom and the sister who betrayed us know what it is fear. Xu lay on the ground with a hideous face. The pain in his body drove him even more crazy. Xu, what kind of power makes you become like this? Urza looked distressed. I haven't seen my partner for a few years. But it has become like this. What is the problem? Was it all directed by Jell? Why would he do this? Urza is very strange, and he doesn't understand why Jell, 
who had been serving as the elder brother back then, became what he is today. Resurrect someone? How can such forbidden magic exist? Uh, uh, ask me to kill them. Now they have lost their hearts because of their power, and death is their destination. Dino seduces Urza with his arms around Anan. The latter shook his head and turned to look at Dino. Dino, Ksu, they are just people who were induced by Jell. Jell caused all this. Dino yawned at Urza's words. There is no difference between yes and no. Urza, uh, uh, you don't dare to kill or you can't bear to kill Jell, he is your former companion who gave you the name Urza Scarlet, can you do it? Dino reply, I'll make sure he understands what a big mistake he's doing, Urza retorted, no, you can't, Dino said, I will, Urza retorted again, Urza believe me, you can't do it, you can't make Jell change his mind, killing him is the only way, Dino still didn't believe it, Urza clenched his fists together and looked at Dino very seriously, I can definitely, Block the name of Fairy Tales class wizard Urza Scarlet. Hee <laughs> hee. Dino was tempting Urza like a demon. And Urza didn't disappoint Dino and succeeded in taking the bait. Even if he didn't kill Jell in the end, he would be completely disappointed. And then it was time for him to kill. Chapter 48 Meeting with Jell. Six Tower of Heaven. Urza stopped arguing with Dino and looked at the island that was getting closer. Memories go back to my childhood. Dino, go back, I'll take care of the rest. Urza said. Dino yawned and sat next to him and started to doze off. To be honest, I don't want to get involved in this kind of shit, but as a member of the Fairy Tail Guild, I still can't watch my companions die, and I'm still waiting for you to lose to Jell before making a move. Dino replied, Urza is strong, but compared to Jell, it's still not enough. A big reason for this is that Urza is intent on awakening Jell, but it's actually a lot harder than killing Jell. Urza will fail in this case. At that time, in order to prevent her from hanging up, she just needs to take another shot herself. The boat is approaching. Not long after, the two of Dino also landed. Get off the boat and stand on the island. Looking at the tall tower of heaven also made Dino sigh, but he didn't expect to come back in the end. Change clothes. Urza directly changed his clothes and rushed towards the tower of heaven. It is obvious that he does not intend to stabilize, and rushed directly to the top. Dino followed suit. He certainly couldn't let Urza mess around anyway. Boom boom tilde. Urza was excited, and the fight wasn't worth it at all. Never saving the magic in his body, Dino who followed behind him, watched silently, followed that way, along the way, Urza has defeated countless enemies, the top of the Tower of Heaven, Jell sat on the throne with Erlang's legs crossed, Lord Jell, Urza, she rushed over, followed by a guy who seemed to have no fighting spirit, Yudaludas with long hair stood beside him and said, no fighting spirit, Jell playful, deep eyed science, this guy who has no fighting spirit is the most terrifying guy, the strong man who destroyed Duke Iba's mansion and Isenwald, I heard that Hose, a, eh? the president of the Phantom Lord, can't beat him. If you underestimate him, you will be beaten to death. Death? Not really, isn't they fairy tale naive and don't need to kill people? Yudaludas said. Jell shook his head, this Dino can't. When he was cruel, I felt that he was more like a member of the Dark Guild. Well, go and play with Urza. Just leave that Dino to me. Yes. Yudaludas nodded and exited. The house was calm again for a while. Jell was silent. That Dino was an unexpected seed that had to be dealt with early. Otherwise, his resurrection plan can't be implemented at all and it is better to deal with it quickly. Outside, boom boom tilde. There was a burst of fighting and breaking sounds. Urza's fingered sword defeated each enemy one by one, and he was close to the top of the Tower of Heaven. Hoo 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 hoo. Dino looked bored and flew up and snored in the air, following behind him. Anan sat in her arms and looked around vigilantly. When someone sneaked up on Dino, they would help to resist the crisis. Ah, the snoring stopped. Dino opened his eyes and stretched to look forward. Looks like these two are here to stop you. Urza, Dino said, just ahead, two figures appeared in front of Urza, one has the head of an eagle, and behind him is a kind of auxiliary gas, the last is a long-haired man with a guitar in his hand, two people stopped in front of Urza, blocking her progress, assassination guild, skeleton guild's special gorilla unit three feather crows, Urza recognized who was in front of her at a glance, Urza, how about we two play a small game, I'm going to kill Jell now, and within this time, See if you go first or I kill him first, then the game begins. Dino said with interest, reached out and threw Anan over to Urza's head. Anan, just protect Urza. After speaking, the body rushed towards the top of the Tower of Heaven. Dino, Urza looked at Dino far away with mixed feelings. She didn't want either Dino or Jell to die, but it was clear that in the current situation one of them was going to die. Then all she can do is to kill the battle here as soon as possible. Change clothes. After speaking, he immediately changed his clothes and rushed towards the two guys in front of him shaking with which two guys, air, eh. Dino was also a little helpless looking at Urza's fighting power, looks like I don't have much time, and Jell doesn't know how to find two powerful ones, so I don't have any time to play, Dino muttered, the body continues to rush, come to the top outside, the magic power in the body bloomed, and the wall in front of him was broken in an instant, a big hole appeared, at the same time, Dino also saw Jell sitting inside and playing chess, 
The latter also put down the pawn in his hand at the same time. He stared at him with his head stabbed. I've admired the name for a long time, Dino. Dino let out an innocent smile. Hey, it's my honor to be remembered by Lord Jell. The body levitates through a large hole and falls to the ground. But I finally see you, Dino said. Chapter 49, A Passerby Who Plays a Knife and a Woman. 70. Oh, I don't know what the purpose of meeting me, Dino, is. If you want to join us, maybe I can give you a chance, Mira Jane said calmly. Dino shrugged. That's really my honor, but it's a pity that I'm not interested in you, nor in your so-called R system. I'm here today for two reasons. Jell got up from his position, standing with his hands behind his back. He looked down at Dino. Oh, what is it? Dino spread his hands. The first purpose, to kill you. The second purpose, to be killed by you. After speaking, Dino also looked at Jell expectantly. Your request is really strange. Speaking of which, do we have a grudge? Jell replied, sitting back in position. Erlang's legs were raised. I don't know where I got a glass of wine and put it in the palm of my hand, and looked at Dino who was standing in front of him calmly. Dino, looking at Jell who looks like a big villain, to be honest, Dino almost couldn't help spraying him with the fire dragon's roar. It is undeniable that Jell looks very good. But isn't it too much for you to act in front of your buddies? No hatred, just treat me like I just don't want to live. Dino took a deep breath to reply. The magic within the body began to surge. Under the action of magic power, the ground under his feet was directly shattered into broken stones one by one. Those broken stones also slowly floated up around Dino under the powerful magic power. The breeze blew up the cloak on his body. Sure enough, the magic in your body is really powerful. Jell drained his glass of wine. The next second the cup in his hand was also shattered. It turned into sawdust and shot at Dino. It's better not to use this kind of small means to be ashamed. Dino raised his hand and waved. The sawdust was also resisted and thrown out. He he, since you like fighting so much, I'll find an enemy for you. I hope you have a good time. Jell smiled. Clap Tilda. After clapping his hands, a figure slowly walked out from behind. She has red silver colored long hair, and is dressed in a red white kimono. Her weapon is a long red sword. His feet were high in clogs, and he walked slowly. But the aura is strong. Dino squinted and swept the woman in front of him with vigilance. The captain of the special gorilla unit three crows of the skull and bones. There is no magic in itself. It is simply a powerful swordsmanship and it is also a rare master who pushes Urta into a corner. It can even smash various armors on Urta. Don't see that the number of games is small, but the strength is very strong. At least from Dino's point of view, he almost has the strength of an S-rank mage. All right, then I'll play with her. Dino agreed with a smile. Reach out to grab it out of thin air, and after the magic circle appeared, a long knife with a black handle appeared a moment, and the scabbard was engraved with waves-like patterns. Sir, is it not good to despise me like that? Turtle Dove looked. Red lips slightly parted, the long knife in his hand flashed, swish, rumbling tilde, the ground was split, and the earth and soil were shattered, impressively, the attack was launched, ding ding ding, there was also, a crashing sound from the long knife in Dino's hand, Dino was unmoved, huh, I didn't expect this hand such gentleman to be quite powerful, turtle dove pondered, Jell also narrowed his eyes and looked at their long knife in Dino's hand with a heavy heart, on the other hand, Dino, who was the client, waved his neck slightly, hold the scabbard with your left hand and stand in front of you, and hold the handle with your right hand, his eyes looked sharp at the turtle dove for a moment, at this moment, the turtle dove felt that he was locked by a sharp blade, it was a very strange feeling, it seems that at this moment in the entire space, there is only herself and this very powerful gentleman in front of her, you are you who is very strong, I have to say that you are a very powerful girl, but unfortunately, I am not weak in swordsmanship, Dino replied, clank, the blade is unsheathed, without seeing Dino making a big move, the blade in his hand began to sheath, household slash, puff, after the blade was sheathed, a sound of cutting the body sounded, the turtle dove in front of him had a wound on the shoulder, blood spurted out, ah, the turtle dove exclaimed in pain, with a soft body, he knelt down on one knee to cover the wound on his shoulder, and blood continued to flow down his arm, he looked at the opponent in front of him in horror, too strong, as a swordsman, she doesn't even know what happened, I only felt the severe pain in the shoulder, and the blood flowed non-stop. The strength of this swordsmanship was too terrifying. That's all? Dino looked coldly at the turtle dove kneeling on one knee and asked. There was endless disappointment in his eyes. The reason why I didn't kill you with one knife was that I wanted to try your hand. If that's the case, then I might be very disappointed. Stand up and continue fighting. Dino said. The tone was cold, but full of unquestionable orders. Turtle dove bit her lip and stood up from the ground reluctantly putting her hand on the handle of the knife again. She decided to use the most powerful move, because she understands that the strength of the opponent in front of her has reached a very high level. She couldn't beat it at all. I just hope this person can show mercy to him. No moon flow middle dot yasha flashing sky. The blade emerges in his hand. The body spun out a sword light. Ding ding ding. Dino held the black handled long knife in both hands and waved it in front of him. Make a ding ding sound. The turtle dove didn't stop. A magic circle appeared under his feet 
and a fiery flame appeared. A knife slid into Dino's body. Moonless flow Garuda flame. Boom. The flames rushed towards Dino. At this time, Dino is also no longer passively defensive. Pulling out the blade, clenched both hands and slashed from top to bottom. Household slash. I saw the blade slowly slashed in front of him, and the fiery flame was cut alive by the blade. Bang tilde. The separate flames crashed against the walls on both sides. Moment. Dino rushed over and stood calmly after crossing the turtle dove. The blade is slowly sheathed. Puff tilde. All blades are retracted. Turtle dove's body was instantly covered with blood. The pale eyes passed out, and he fell to the ground with a thud. Chapter 50. Actor. Gel. 8 clap clap tilde. Gel, who is always fighting, applauds. As expected of the most mysterious member of the fairy tale guild, you are even more mysterious than that guild arts. Gel replied. The long knife in Dino's hand disappeared. Walked to the ground in front of the turtle dove. Reached out and grabbed her body and threw it into the corner. Then looked at Jell. Does procrastination work? Dino asked. The smile on Jell's face solidified, and he looked at Dino in front of him with complicated eyes. What are you talking about? Jell asked. Dino sat down with a random big rock, and looked at Jell with a smirk. Do you know why I don't attack you now? Jell didn't answer. He suddenly realized that the boy in front of him seemed to be quite mysterious. Maybe you can see his situation which is not very good. According to the time, the council should have just passed the verdict of using magic spirit power. There is still about an hour, and it will take a while for your nostalgic body to appear. Dino dismantled Jell's purpose. Jell's whole face is not very good. He now seriously doubts whether this Dino also holds a high-ranking position in the council. Otherwise, how would you know so clearly? Even the plan just passed is understood so quickly. Is there a missing body in the council? The reason why I don't shoot you is because you are not my target now. My target is you who is the strongest. As for you now, to be honest, it's not that I'm talking big, I can run over you with one finger. Dina raised his index finger. Very mockingly, he rolled into the air. Jell's breathing was also heavy, and his brain was spinning rapidly. The current situation seems to be quite unfavorable for him, and all the enemies that can be used have failed. If this Dino wants to kill himself now, it's really easy. When the time comes. The missing body will not be able to survive at all, so he is like a catfish on the chopping block now. Leave it alone. You are really dangerous, can you guess it? This is enough to show that your strength and wisdom are quite strong. What's the purpose of you staying in fairy tale like this? Why don't you join me? Just revive Xerath. When the time comes we are the ones who rule the world. Jell's open arms and eyes made no secret of the possessiveness. It seems that he has the whole world in his hands. He he lets all be quiet. I'll wait for your missing body to come back, and then I'll kill you again. Dino replied. He also leisurely counted the time with his hands behind his head. Okay, then just wait. Jell narrowed his eyes and agreed. He was full of disdain in his heart. This Dino is indeed very powerful, and the magic is also very powerful. But he believes that if the missing body comes back, there is no need to be afraid of him at all. Then kill this guy first. Jell, at this time, Erza also rushed up from below, shouted a sentence and looked at Dino who was graceful beside him. This is relieved. Step up and confront Jell. Erza, Jell's strength is still very weak now. Why don't you kill him? Otherwise his missing body will come back after the magic wizard power on the council's side is knocked down, and you won't be able to beat him by then. Dino grumbled. Reach out and grab it out of thin air. Grab an and place it beside him to make a suggestion. Dino, can he leave it to me? Erza asked softly. Dino frowned after hearing these words. He knew that Erza still liked Jell, but it is because of this love that Dino intends to kill Jell. In his opinion, Jell is not a good person whether he is controlled or not. Already on Dino's must-kill list. Good. In the end. He agreed, as long as Erza knew that Jell was taking advantage of her, everything would be easy. Get up and taken into a safe place to stay in a daze. There, Erza also got into a fight with Jell. Dina was also bored and started dozing off. This sleep is almost an hour. During the second period, he was not even affected by the fight between the two people over there. This is indeed quite inhuman. After all, no one can bear someone fighting beside them. After looking at the time, he got up and turned around. At this moment Jell is kneeling on the ground, and Erza is in front of him. And now Jell can't beat Erza. Getting knocked down is normal. Looks like Erza, you're still being fooled by Jell's rhetoric, Dino replied. To be honest, he really didn't know what was good about this Jell. Dino, Jell was just possessed by Xerath's undead. He wasn't like that. Forgive him? Erza begged. Jell also said at this time, Erza, you don't need to plead for me. Just let Dino kill me. This body has long been a puppet, and only my death can stop Xerath's resurrection. Hearing these words, Dino couldn't help but twitch at the corners of his mouth. To be honest, if he hadn't known what was going on, he would have been fooled by such a sincere gel. Unfortunately, he is not stupid. In the sky, a huge magic circle appeared. Dino and Urza and Gel all felt the attack that was about to land. Leave, let me destroy this tower of heaven. If there is an afterlife, I hope to be redeemed by you, Urza. Gel performed generously again. Show off your unique acting skills. Dino sighs, this acting is really impressive. 
but I'm afraid only the stupid woman, Erda, will believe it. No way. You let Dino come to this world too late. There is no way to develop a relationship with Erda. Dino, let's go. Erda spoke to Dino after a silent meeting. 